beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. I gotta get a win this. No! Say, man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on you, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Hey, welcome to the Drunken Peasants Podcast. This is episode 1315. We're back again, doing it live, 1315. We got Billy the Fridge, we got Lord Magicus. Welcome back to the show, guys. How's it going? Yeah. Magicus is here to make that white stuff come out. Oh, my God. I wish I had the soundbite queued up for that. Damn it. Ah. Hey. Did you see the thumbnail? I used Egghead's bathtub in the thumbnail. I thought that was the tub from the Saw movie. <laughs> hey. It might have been. Make that white stuff come out again. <laughs> yeah, so everyone, please like the stream. If you haven't liked the stream already. Uh, very soon. I've finished editing the special Patreon video that I've been working on for a while. Uh, and we'll have the release date coming out soon. It'll be available for all $10 and above patrons coming up pretty soon here um, before the end of the month. Yeah, so uh, we are going to get right into everything here. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, some Cobra stuff. So here it comes. <laughs> Somewhere in the world today Men have got to stand up strong Face the truth about themselves To understand what went wrong I know we can find a way I know we can find a way I know we can find a way Stand up It's amazing All right. Uh, And also, I forgot to mention, we are 61% of the way to our goal. If you want to help us get a little closer to the goal, it's pinned right there at the top of the chat. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Here we go. Uh, So this is going to give you a recap. There was a a little trouble between Cobra and uh, Queen Cobra. Um, because What happened? Well, Queen Cobra got super wasted. She likes to stream from her bathtub, but yeah. She doesn't she doesn't show herself. She she usually shows the wall or whatever, but she got really drunk and passed out in the bathtub. She'll do like an 8-hour bathtub stream. Um that is too long to be in the tub. I know. The water would get cold. But yeah, <laughs> the water would get green. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, here, here's a recap from Boglum Chronicles of, of that. Is that Egghead's bathtub? How did Boglum Chronicles get a picture of it? Did he hack They're me? all Egghead's bathtub. <laughs> Happy middle of the week. Do ourselves a little drink combo action. We got Birdhouse, Hard Apple. That's a tiny bottle of something hard Buddy apple. Alex sent me a bunch Does it of say shooters. Big House or Birdhouse on it? Uh, you call it Birdhouse, right? I didn't see what it said. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Oh. Big House. Big House. I thought he called it Birdhouse. He may have. I mean, he, he you know, he tends to do that sometimes. My buddy Alex Vickner sent me a bunch of shooters. And what I do with the shooters is, if I'm not trying hard out, apple. individually, I'll mix them all together in one glass and add some like 
mixer with it and see how it tastes. Oh, yeah. Also, please give the stream a like because that helps us out a lot. Dr. McKilla Cuddy yeah. with the butter. You got to like the show for Magicus and Billy. Like, we're the dream team, it's right? That's dog how it works. Dog we're basically, we're basically uh, Dennis Rodman and Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Isn't McGillicuddy, isn't that like a dirty word? Doesn't that mean something? I don't, I've never heard that. What's a McGillicuddy? Oh, uh, let me One see. One in the chat if you know what a McGillicuddy is, you <laughs> sickos. Three look, for the manatee. Urban Dictionary just says something that is just plain retarded or an incident that just makes no sense at all is what it says. Uh, Urban Dictionary says that. Watch. Yeah, it sounds stupid to me. That's a big McGillicuddy for me. <laughs> the last shooter drink combo I made, I was on Aggressive TV, who's a fan of mine. And that combo was pretty fire, ain't gonna lie. Let's talk about Jessica for a second. We got some Admiral Nelson's Watermelon Rum. Man, he's really got some tiny bottom-of-the-barrel bottles. Yeah, yeah, it's those little shooters that they sell at the liquor store. And they're all like ass juice. Yeah. And she's Mickey will drink the apple. Another thing uh, Admiral Paul Nelson is, is about as like bottom shelf as it's gonna get, really. So, yeah, and I've she, never heard of uh, Big House before, but everybody in the chat was like, "No, that's Big House. We love Big House. Big House. Like, oh. <laughs> God, never, it's like never heard that. It's one. like prison hooch. Big house, which would be better than the mead. <laughs> Go wrong. Literally anything would be better. You could drinking out of the fucking toilet is probably better than the mead. Let's be real. The smartest thing he did was add actual alcohol to the mead, though. That was brilliant. <laughs> Everything else he added was questionable. But wouldn't it, it just, you know what? It might have sterilized whatever was whatever <laughs> microbes were forming in the mead it's but the boglum brilliant i feel like it would have been smarter to not oh, make the okay. mead and use the money to buy more booze instead of mixing it with the mead all right here's a boglums always go the long way around would what's up rather, magicus would you rather drink cobra's mead or would you rather drink bailey's out of egghead's bathtub cobra's mead <laughs> it depends on which mead it was <laughs> There's some meads were like no, but others like maybe. Do I get to scrub down Egghead's bathtub before I drink out of it? No, we're pouring oh. the Baileys into the tub as is, and you have to take a ladle and just like drink a ladle of it out of there. How long before <laughs> this did Egghead take a bath in the bathtub? Unknown. <laughs> unknown. So you're saying it's unknown when a the last time Egghead is bathed? Wow, Magicus. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, Joshy. Shut it. <laughs> this is yeah. This is her stream. <laughs> Joshy, I love you. I can tell you love her voice, Billy. I do not. <laughs> I know you're telling me to shut it because you've been utmost. Like you, like I'm not here to judge you either. Like you have people that love you. They love you at your utmost intimate. Like. <laughs> And I love you, Josh. I fucking love you. You know, she no, sounds very, to... very sober there. Like that's, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. Is if there I've a ever... difference though? Yeah. Like, I have, have we Not seen her really. sober? <laughs> no. I don't like, think I, I really... have. No. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've seen her sober. If I have, I haven't been able to tell the difference. Yeah. Jessica, shit for passing out on stream drunk, because Lord knows I'm like. Holmes exposes crazy. himself to dead pathogens via bog meat. Will he develop immunities? Bogum vaccines? Bog signs? <laughs> Bog signs. If I do that. But she literally fucking passed out <laughs> in a bathtub face first. And you can see the water level was full. And a lot of people were concerned. Well, yeah, if you're passed out face first in the tub, that would be very bad. Uh, it would be death. <laughs> what sort of cackle was that? Oh my god! Ah! You got a snort in there. Actually. I mean, like, no, I don't want to ogle Cobra's woman. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn away out of respect for right, Cobra. Right. Right. <laughs> Can we fucking like black the screen out again? Like that was better. 
Cobra did say explicitly that he doesn't care who comes along. They had their chance for six years. This is, He's a one-woman man, and uh, this is his woman now. This is his girlfriend. You know, he said you, you do got to respect that at least. Yeah. Know, he's a man of commitment, so yeah. that's that's good. Is she power shitting into the tub? What is going on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, she's blacking out right now in passive. Like, oh, yeah, she's oh, leaning. Can you can you imagine power shitting in the tub and then sitting in it for like another six hours? <laughs> I mean, I, I I don't have to imagine Magicus. I'm a morbidly obese man. Um, I. I, I thought I heard something like a rock tumbler going off, and I hope it was just background noise in her house. <laughs> this is dangerous. Oh, no. Yeah, this is because she... So it looks like she's face for Obviously... She, the, she wouldn't have turned out okay here if her face was actually underwater here. So I think she's just leaning with her face close to the water, but I don't know about in the water at this she's, point. She's uh, having a little she, clam steam. Is, is she maybe, is she leaning over the side of the tub maybe? Is that like... Uh, it's hard to tell. I don't think so. People but are calling I, her I think, now. I think she's probably just inches away from the water, and if her yeah. face hit the water, it would be enough to wake her up. There'd be bubbles, so. too. Or is that her vibrator? Daughter. <laughs> oh, no. Her ankle bracelet vibrates. Daughter Archive with a $5 super chat says, this is where being deaf has its peaks when it comes to this drunk valley girl who's blacked out in the tub. Uh, yeah, d don't have to go around bragging about being deaf right now. A lot of us wish we couldn't hear this, too. <laughs> now, if you're calling the cops on me and Jessica just to be a dick, then screw you. But when there's legitimately... That just made me think, like, the hearing impaired people that watch us. There's all those times the YouTube closed captioning got whatever we said wrong and made us say weird shit that we didn't even actually say. They just read my lips, though, so... I'm going to try to speak more clearly now so it doesn't mess it up. I'm going to talk only a drawl and bounce around with my words a little bit says in the speech text, no. Your lips are mostly hidden by your mic most of the time. Yeah, but I talk out of the side of my mouth like an asshole, so it works. Huh? Hey, the police. <laughs> Jeez, Dad, don't look at me. The internet is. Her dad's like, the police are here. They're asking about you. <laughs> uh, the police? Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm in the freaking Jesus bathroom. Christ. Yeah, does she have a drawl all of a sudden? Uh, did she... <laughs> She's Jesus. drawled all over that bathtub. I really like this uh, dish she has here at the side of the bathtub. It looks like a teacup. It's, it's I like, beautiful. I feel like I've seen a dish exactly like that in person before, and I can't remember which person I knew that had that. Have you ever had sex with a 70-year-old woman? No, I have all, not. <laughs> all 70-year-old sexually active women keep these cups at their bedside. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. Josh did not. She can't. Don't look that close to the camera, please. Is, is that the fucking, like, dead girl from the ring? What the fuck? I'm getting oogie boogies <laughs> from this camera angle. I don't like it. No, the oh, fuck Josh did not. No, he didn't. Why did I hide from my dad? Because I'm in the fucking tub. Hello. Do, do you want your dad to see you naked? You stupid. I think she's wearing a top, by the way. I'm pretty sure I, she's she's wearing like a bra or something. I'm not trying to look to find out. <laughs> she got so fucking drunk, started self-deprecating herself. 
Oh, wait, Cobra's going to talk about how drunk somebody got? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, well, I hope Josh finds a better girlfriend. He deserves As he pours blood. seven different tiny bottles into <laughs> right? one cup. I love My it. My man. Yeah. Blah, 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 That's why he's like. the king. <laughs> I would challenge Jessica to save one of her drinking streams when she acts like this. And then go back and watch it so she can see how she fucking acts. <laughs> Really? Cobra of all people's gonna say that? Oh my god. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's fucking sad, dude. I hate seeing Jessica like that. It's, it's depressing. Why is there no clip edited in here of like Cobra of just fucking falling face first to the floor? Good question. <laughs> because he's actually right right now. He's giving sage advice. He's got Billy, some kind of sore he's on his head. Be true, okay? <laughs> he can be right and hypocritical. I'm fine. And it sucks that my dad has to answer the cop calls for me because I'd literally walk out there naked. I, I don't call that hypocritical, though, Magic Kiss. Uh, like, I wouldn't take sex advice from a virgin. I'm going to take alcoholism advice from an alcoholic. You know... I actually kind of follow the logic in that. Okay, <laughs> but usually, usually it's like a sober alcoholic. Like, like when you're an alcoholic and you're in AA, you take advice from another like alcoholic that's sober, and you got. They I always sponsor prefer you. functional right. alcoholic. Not a sponsor. We're trying, yeah, we're trying to go pro here. Okay, we need to get the advice from the people in the game. Right. That's yeah. <laughs> would walk out in front of the cops bush and nipples hard and uh, like so y'all really want me to go to jail don't you <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I guess her and her mommy have issues I get that but like let's see all the combination of all these smell <laughs> that is funky dude like, <laughs> that is funky, dude. <laughs> Smells like Wendy's. Did he mean funky like bad or like funky like some George Clinton Parliament Funkadelic uh, <laughs> funky? Gonna have to see how that sip goes. All right. I yeah. bet he's gonna like it. Yesterday, I did order Jessica some pizza. One of my fans sent me on a shit ton of money. And, the man uh, is a provider. It's his version of flowers and chocolate. A hot and ready and some crazy bread. I mean, I, I sp- there, are, there are worse things to send your partner. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and I don't think <laughs> I don't think he calls it crazy bread. Uh, he calls it Jessica bread. <laughs> it's bread. <laughs> he calls it bread. Spontaneously do stuff like that for my girlfriend, you know. And I ordered her uh, Little Caesars, create your own pizza, stuffed crust, the bacon. And then I selected bacon two more times after that. <laughs> my my man. <laughs> I love the two extra bacons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the troll meal was also sent. Well, obviously. No, yeah. nobody eats a sauce sandwich and enjoys that. He did. Cobra no, does. A- yeah. It was like running Cobra. down his hands or his arms and everything. Cobra's eating cat food that was sent to him. I'm pretty sure a sauce sandwich is a step up from that. Wizards have no <laughs> problem putting imaginary meat in their sauce sandwiches. <laughs> fucking huge bean burrito from Taco Bell with beans and a fuck ton of sauce of all different... Co- no, that's not food. No. Somebody sent me a Taco Bell fucking huge burrito. Like, the thing was fucking huge with beans and all the other things sauce. After yeah. 2 a.m. in the fucking morning, <laughs> I said, Trash. Yeah, they're trying to help you live moss. What what the hell are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Retard. She just described every Taco Bell burrito I've ever had. <laughs> yeah. and then... It's got two of the four primary ingredients in it. <laughs> I got her some stuffed crazy bread and a Twix cookie dough brownie for dessert. And a star aid to drink. Did he say Twix cookie dough brownie? Is that what it is? Well, I, I think well, I think that's what he said. Luckily, I was able to call Jessica when she was passed out in the bathtub, face first. 
Blub, 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 blub. <laughs> I like that if you really just look and pretend Whoa. it's like she was... It's like she's drowning in a bowl of cereal. Like... <laughs> And then she started to pass out in the bathtub without her face being in the water. That was a good start. Yeah, not drowning she in the good bathtub start. for so You're fucking correct. long. I get that's her safe space. I get that. <laughs> but I finally said to Jessica, I says, honey, get out of the bathtub and crawl into bed. You'll feel better in the morning. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've had enough to drink. I have had plenty of nothing. Thank you. What? He, her dad was like, how much you had to drink? And she said, I've had plenty of nothing. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. And not enough alcohol. <laughs> you've had zero of your percent. Thanks. You don't need to. You people need to get out of my life. Thank you. She's had so little alcohol that she can't even form a complete sentence. Yeah. Plenty That's of how nothing. much she hasn't been drinking. <laughs> I'm fine. Could you imagine, like, getting pulled over by a cop and you've been drinking and they ask how much you had to drink and you could just say plenty of nothing? I can imagine her getting pulled over in her bathtub by a cop. <laughs> they were there. It was He's very close. Watch it, yeah. <laughs> I've been fine, thank you. I do like the idea of wishing your parents would get out of your life. I doubt she's going to live longer than them, but... It's possible you might get your wish. <laughs> I haven't seen them, real. so. I'd so much rather have the stuffed crust meat lover's pizza and crazy bread than I would flowers and chocolate. And GL. Hell yeah, there you go. Kaya, yeah, that, that's the way to go, man. Like, fuck, pizza is the best thing you could possibly get. So. Maybe a different type of pizza, though. I don't know. The day no, stuffed fuck. crust is the way to go, for sure. And I'll let you fucking yeah, go. Get your pizza stuffed and your little ass. The day I'm not fine, I'll, how about you kiss my ass and you go away? Good night. Nice. Talking to her parents like a that, champ. I heard the stream. She was like, oh, I'll get out of here in like 10 minutes. And then 20 minutes later, I'll get out of here in 30 minutes. And she finally got out of the bathtub. And then when I saw she made it safely to bed, I was like, okay, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> It's got a bit of a bite to it, but that's not half bad tasting. The watermelon makes <laughs> it interesting for sure. And then got Jessica a bite to said it. on stream, I kid you not, you act like you, you've never taken a nap when you get drunk. And I'm like, you're right. People do pass out when they drink. And people were not <laughs> trying to attack her or bully her. They were just doing it because they were concerned. And then when I tried talking to her about her passing out in the bathtub face first, she denied it. She's like, oh, I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like if someone has bugs in their food and they're like, no, I didn't have bugs in my food. It's smart, though. She keeps a bowl full of air next to herself in the bathtub in case she drowns passing out. She can just drink a nice bowl of air afterwards. Right. Well, she needs to have that cup of a whole lot of nothing to drink. So, <laughs> Plenty of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that is so typical Jessica, dude. You can't talk to her when she drinks because as soon as she does anything stupid, she'll deny it. She'll feel like she's being attacked. Where have I heard that oh, before? I like, mean, do we know anyone like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Aww. Aww. I need help. Aww. And it's like it's nice that Jim Henson's workshop <laughs> made a girlfriend for King Cobra. That's right? one of the lab <laughs> one of the labyrinth puppets right there. <laughs> We're, we're not like, tell me after watching this video that they are just literally not made for each other. Like it's so fucking perfect. 
Here it might have been here. made out of the same cum sock for each other. <laughs> like Shannon yeah. for Christ. Jessica is her long lost twin sister. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, Shanny is kind of more gross, though. Uh, Shanny seems like yeah, a more deplorable person, also. Shanny believes in God, though, so there's there's salvation for her. Oh, I mean, sure. Rumor has it that Shanny can't even wipe her own ass anymore. So yes, actually, yes. <laughs> How it's come true. Shanny and I have so much in common? <laughs> Making sure you're okay. I woke up to see if she stopped streaming or not. The stream is still going. Uh, another pina colada stream. She's not passed out in her bed, sleeping. And Sometimes I do not interact with her on camera right away. I'll just hover in the background and make sure people are being nice. and not saying mean things about her. Hexipo asks, how long before Cobra <laughs> says he has a new dry spell? Uh, <laughs> Cobra is still trying to get out that wet smell <laughs> the wendy's smell stop giving a shit yeah the, the other day i was thinking like has cobra washed his sheets since she left or is no. there no. No? no no wait that, that wait that should be a poll can we put that up yes there? i'll like... do it okay <laughs> who who slept in the wet spot while she was there oh fuck uh I feel like the wet spot was probably all encompassing, to be honest. I feel like they both slept in it. I now, think there's just a, a subtle dew across the entire apartment. <laughs> dew. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, I do want to say, I, I tend to agree with you guys that more than likely he hasn't. Uh, the main thing I would think, if, if he had, Clint stepped in was like, Josh, you got to wash your sheets now. Because Clint knew what was yeah. going on, right? He smelled the sex Man. in the air when he but when he got would, there. That makes it even Cobra less likely that he did it. As it contains yeah. yeast for his next. Ah, uh, yes, yes. The the yeast yeah. from the wet spot. He could brew a, a mead. We're putting my bed sheets into this bottle of mead. It's turbo. It's her turbo yeast. <laughs> no. About what some random asshole behind the keyboard is saying. These are Boglum Chronicles is pointing out that it smells like tactical soap in a wet market. <laughs> like the kind COVID allegedly started in. That's the kind. Mm. That's the kind. Right. It's insufficient compared to the just the word wet market just sounds gross. Like if someone was like, You want to go buy food at a wet market? I'd be like, No. And no, then thank you get you. there. And the food is also gross. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The bigger things in life. But Jessica has told me she doesn't really have any friends in the, in the real world, so she goes on. If I went media. to a wet market and the food there was delicious, I'd be like, okay, I got to stop judging books by their cover. But it's sure. things like this that keep me looking at the covers. <laughs> yeah, because she likes to stream and interact with people. And I'm telling her, like, you gotta stop giving a shit about what people think about you. It's a wonderful feeling. Why a lot of people like me is because I don't give a he shit. He goes, Quack people... says, if I find the video where he said he would keep the dirty sheets on the bed, I'll send it in. See? The, 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 I'm pretty sure they're still <laughs> chilling like a rock star villain. People think about me, I'm not afraid to be myself. And you can tell when Jessica gets to, gets to having too much to drink is then she gets in the depressing mood. Mm, I can't. I'm beyond the fuck all drunk. I can't. I'm, I'm, I gotta reverse. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that, wet market sounds was, like code for a brothel. I um met this girl at a um wet market. Yeah. No, that ruins oh, it. No. no, you have to say a lady's dormitory or something like that. Plus, most <laughs> of the women at the brothel are using lube. You're not getting them wet. Oh, boy. No, I'm self-deprecating to a point, too. So it's one of the things me and Jessica have in common. So I can relate to that on a lot of levels. But... But, you know, is it self de deprecation if you just get so drunk that you literally just collapse on the floor and just make an ass of yourself? 
pretty sure someone said it was self defecation. <laughs> I think that might be more accurate. Yeah. It's hard to watch, dude. It's hard to watch someone you care about passed out in the bathtub face first sitting up. Odds are she'll wake up and delete the stream or make it private because that's what she does. Man's right. He was right. She did. He's a prophet. <laughs> They're like, what's the point of streaming if you're just going to make it private and block Everybody it? arguing about the Arby's economy in our chat right now. <laughs> Chill. You can get two <laughs> fish and cheddar sandwiches for six bucks. <laughs> it's about as good as it gets in America. <laughs> so then when I showed her actual proof of her being face down in the bathtub, she went from denying it to going, well, okay, Josh caught me. Oh, geez. <laughs> Josh caught then, me. Oh, geez. You know, she Imagine what thing. you're not catching, Josh. The video evidence of her passing out in the bathtub. Yeah, you got that on your radar. Imagine what she's pulling off when she's not on camera. Yeah. Hey, well, I don't want to make Josh worry. And I'm like, well, what do you expect, dude? We need to fucking leave Jessica alone. I'm getting tired of this shit. No, it's Chicanery the says, I really am curious what Clint's thoughts on Naked and Laughing <laughs> is. I, I got to say... I think Clint just hopes she doesn't get pregnant. I think everything yeah. else, Clint's like, whatever. Uh, my boy is my boy. He's just dicking around with the swamp rat. But <laughs> but he's like, please, please, don't do what I did. Passing Jessica non-fucking-stop since so she started dating me because they, they can't handle that Cobra has a girlfriend. My phone started blowing up. I'm going to bed soon. Y'all are bothering me and bothering Josh, and Josh is sending me screenshots that are leads to I don't need Yeah, you. I remember the so first. I remember the first time I, you know, right after she went home, I was watching her channel to see what she was up to, and she did a bathtub stream, and I'm like, huh, that's kind of weird. She did a bathtub stream, and then I went away and did something else, and checked back like eight hours later, and she was still <laughs> streaming live from the bathtub. This says it's a deleted stream. Was this deleted off of only Smeagles? Josh worried about me. I'm fine. If I needed Josh worried about me, I would call Josh. But hey, Josh, I need help. Can you help me? I don't think he'd be able to help you. I don't need help. I'm not convinced he can help himself most of the time. What? Well, I mean, just the distance alone, he couldn't do anything <laughs> if she actually I mean, really needed help. Yeah. I'm not I'm a, sure if she was there in his apartment and asked him for help that he would be able to. Sure. I'm going to I'm I'm going to twist this one a little further. Uh if she listened to his advice, he'd be helping her. But she's helpless cuz she doesn't want to listen to her men. An intervention is needed. Oh, okay. People are like, Josh, Jessica's passed out in the bathtub face for a thumb. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. I tune back into her stream, and sure enough, and I'm like, oh. Imagine how heartbroken Cobra would be if she didn't pull her head out of that bathtub. I'm imagining it. That's at least seven years of sad luck. I didn't call right away because yeah. I figured maybe she'll snap out of it. Someone else tried calling her. Do you think Before he would have immediately just like changed course and the well you guys had your chance it's too late uh, talk just because I feel like it would not take very long for him to be like all right doors open ladies let's see him oh well the, he's a widower is not <laughs> still death do us part dude <laughs> can, yeah. the, the second the second she hasn't come up from that water it's open <laughs> season he's like I'm free and clear baby let's go. Yeah, let a man let a man love again. She woke up briefly <laughs> to like ignore it and then fucking pass back out in the same position. And I'm like, well, as a caring boyfriend, I'm not gonna have this nonsense. So I called her and I said, Jessica. First I texted her and told her what she said about how she thinks she's not good enough for me and fucking she you hopes I find a better girlfriend. And I'm like, Jesus. store Rick Sanchez. <laughs> huh. Who's Rick Sanchez? From Rick and Morty. Oh, okay, okay. Just fucking Christ. He's like Rick if Rick was a wizard homeless man instead of a uh, 
scientist drunk. <clears throat> you know, one one of the infinite Ricks is probably Cobra. That makes sense. Yeah. No, I will it say this. Be. Jessica's a lot like me in a lot of ways. So I can't get upset with her because a lot of her personality, I see a lot of it in myself. Right. I'm like, what do you fucking expect, Jessica? When people see you talking about wanting to self-harm yourself, and then you pass out in the bathtub face first. But we don't date people because they share our flaws. We date people because their flaws align well with our strengths and we keep each other up he said self-harm yourself (laughs) he did yeah how how dare she self-harm herself it would be pretty (laughs) impressive if you could self-harm someone else exactly oh you can it's called gaslighting sit there and she'll (laughs) slam her bacardi gold rum she'll have several shots and a couple drinks and then last night she's like, "Oh, I only had one." I'm like, "Bullshit!" It was a really big teacup in front of her. And Jessica, if you hate reading comments, next time you go live, honey, you just turn off comments. Genius. Then, then you don't gotta deal with it. Then you don't have to fucking deal with it. Then you could just focus on your stream and your cooking and what's your crazy Jessica drink combo for the evening kind of thing. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that Jessica has to stop drinking because your crazy drink combo of the evening. I like how he puts the crazy that. Jessica drink combo of the evening. <laughs> like there would only be one, right? <laughs> well, she said she only had one. She said that. I don't know if I believe that. She's no. She's doing Cobra drink math, uh, where he only had one, but it was like ninety percent pure booze, like a whole pint of it. Yeah, well, he had one bottle yeah (laughs) this is the next level drink combo it's one (laughs) rum and coke and then you wait and have one uh, margarita and then you wait and have one uh bud light lime and then you know at the end of your session that's the one combo just administered in sessions realistically i know it's never gonna happen but I don't know, maybe drink less. But yeah, I, maybe I drink, drink less. less. I don't know. Set the example for us. Can you go like a week without drinking? Is that possible? I think he would actually die if he tried. Yeah, you know, at certain levels, it's very dangerous to completely quit drinking. And I think he's at that kind of level where it might be uh, like people have died. I I remember this story where the wrestler Kevin Nash and his son decided to both quit drinking cold turkey and his son just died from it like a week into it, just dropped dead. And he was a young like thir- in his mid 30s. I think, you know, really young guy he yeah. might have been in his late twenties. I, I can't remember. Was, was it like, young. yeah, it was like it, kind, of, kind of crazy. Cause you don't normally think that way. You're like, breaking. Oh. Yeah. He was actually doing it. He was doing what he had set out to do and he should have done it slower, which is, you know, uh, it, it's yeah. sad. A self-conscious decision. Which myself. is why I still drive around the middle schools. I don't pick anybody up, but I just drive around them. Not to get blackout drunk anymore, <laughs> especially on camera, because people love to fuck with me when I get blackout drunk. They do the same shit to Jessica. It is pretty fun. Because I mean, they know be she real. takes the comments way too fucking personally. And I'm like, honey, these are just assholes behind a keyboard. They don't mean a fucking thing. Ignore them. Uh, but no, people need to fucking leave Jessica alone. I'm getting tired of this crap. You know, it's one thing, that, like I said, if people are calling the cops on Jessica just to be a dick and waste the cops' time and wake her parents up, screw you. Okay? But people legitimately do the wellness check on her because of the bathtub and because of the talk and all that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, if you don't like the cops being called on you like that, then maybe next time you get drunk on camera, don't fucking talk like that and then pass out fucking face first in the bathtub. So she'll she'll watch this fucking video when she wakes up. This is why Cobra doesn't drink and bathe. (laughs) 
He, yeah, he, he only does. Cobra doesn't bathe. He only does he one or the other. Plays with a, he'll drink and play with a toy gun and camera. You know, that's or sometimes an actual shotgun. Yes, like. there are, there is that. <laughs> it's it's, well, they're all toys until you pull the trigger. So, and, well, I don't need Josh in your chat twenty four seven. I don't need to be watched like some blah blah blah. It's like. It's not about watching you and, sh you know, making sure. It's like, well, I'm just seeing what you're up to. But then she'll turn around and be like, where's my Joshie? I need my Joshie. And it's like, oh, you can't make up your mind. All right. So there's that. And then we have a follow up. This next one is the follow up uh -oh. to that whole story. Here it is. Jessica says sorry. Love it's conquers pronounced, all. Sorry, it's pronounced go. sorry, all right? Re sorry. Jessica the, uh, says sorry. Case of Bush Peach. And they are officially out. Because no! it's so under in season. So it's a uh -oh. seasonal thing for Bush. So I settled for... I went from a, trying to get a 30-pack... <laughs> And uh, so I ended up settling on a 12 pack of crisp apple Angry Orchard, delicious hard cider, not a sponsor. Trying to I do like Angry apple Orchard, apple. it is good. It's my beverage of choice. She's drinking though. Jessica talked with me and she apologized. For her erratical behavior on her erratical phone. behavior. Ah, uh, whoa, yeah. dude! Erratical, dude. That behavior was so erratical, man. It's gonna irradiate you. <laughs> radiate. Can you call out a stream? And uh, she's just decided because she doesn't know her limit that she's gonna, for now, quit drinking. Hmm. And I'm like, well, I respect that decision. Because saying things like, well, I hope Josh finds a better girlfriend. Like, I don't know where the fuck that came from. And she doesn't even remember saying it. And she doesn't know either. If he wants to fuck all of his other bitches, I don't care. That there you go. You got the green light. You got the green light. It's fine. <laughs> Let's it's go. I'm not going to be a part of that. If he chooses to do that, that's fine. Because if that's what he chooses, then that's when I drop him. Hey, make that white stuff come out again. <laughs> she did apologize, which I appreciate. And if I didn't care, I would have said fuck it after last night's stream. But I uh, know this, uh, yeah. And of course, the assholes on the internet are gonna see the last video I did. I did about her and talk all this shit about what I said and try to twist my fucking words. And I talked to Jessica and I said I didn't say nothing bad. I was just saying how I'm worried about you. And how was it talking trash when I've literally heard Jessica say certain things to me about, you know, certain things. I wasn't trash talking yeah. Jessica in my last video about her. I was, if anything, worried about her. But like I said, she called and she apologized. And she's decided to quit drinking for now because she doesn't know her limits. For now? Like, what does that when, mean? Like, literally now and now she can drink again? <laughs> for a solid seven <laughs> hours, all right? <laughs> mm. Well, I would say I care about Jessica. Otherwise, I wouldn't put up with this crap. I'd just be like... You know what I'm saying? That's good. Apple cider. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's after 5 o'clock. It's after 5 o'clock. Literally after 10 o'clock in the evening. So I want to pass out after drinking this one. Hey, there's two 5 o'clocks every day, right? Yeah, yeah, if you're not drinking at 5 a.m., then you don't deserve to drink at 5 p.m. Exactly. Right. So one of my friends told me, if you don't start drinking in the morning, you can't drink all day. So, Exactly. I prefer to get it out of the way in the morning. That way, <laughs> I'm hungover before I go to sleep, and then I can just sleep it off. There you go. I drank like two, and I'm like, yeah. 
I actually have a, a an, I actually injured myself this past weekend. It was a drunk slip and fall accident. I don't need to keep oh, drinking. No. Or anything. Did you have your life alert at least that you could call? No, no. Some guy helped me get up because it was it was downtown. I was walking around in the rain and and they had these metal utility plates on the sidewalk and I stepped on one of them and it made my front foot slip forward and I kind of like did the splits which I'm not flexible so that was very painful and I skinned up my knee and my elbow it was it was pretty bad but Did I'm, you land on your dick? I landed on my knee like my right knee and yeah. my right elbow kind of uh When you say do the splits I get worried no, no, no. no. The, it was those kind of splits where, like, one, it's not side to side legs. It's one leg's forward and one leg's back. You know? Yeah. The kind James yeah, Brown would do when he would jump up in the air and land in, in the splits. Yeah. Only yeah, yeah. still. Woo! Look at that. Still dangerously close to a dick splatter. Me. Yeah. But I did talk to Jessica. Like I said, she did apologize for her radical behavior. A, a radical, radical again. A <laughs> radical dude. I like does it. Does she have like a weird uh, waist rash around yes. her? Or is yes, that the. She does. She's wearing like something. She's wearing something. Thing. I was worried about her. You know, she got blackout drunk on stream and was saying all kinds of weird shit. And some of it was a little again, messed up. Who do we know that does that? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I, was... I want my own. I want my. I've own seen shot. you black out on stream, Magicus. That happened one time. I don't know about one. <laughs> I think it might have been more than one. Only one time that I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> I think. I think. I think I'm the only one who hasn't blacked out on stream. <laughs> That's because I've only ever blacked out once in my entire life. I vomited all over on stream. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just puke everywhere. V vomiting <laughs> does stop you from blacking out. It, like, because, you know, like all the booze in your stomach, instead of yeah. like getting up to your brain, just you puke it out. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you're more prone to puking, you wouldn't have many blackouts. It's true. I it's remember blacking puke. out. First and then waking up to throw up. So yeah, that tracks. <laughs> yeah, oh, that sucks. Named after, not after me, but I, I want a baby from Josh. No. Well, at least you're in the bathtub. You can have a mm -hmm. water birth. That's what I want. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> you know, I appreciate Jessica actually calling and apologizing for that because uh, the way she was acting on her pina colada stream, it was like, yikes. <laughs> yeah. I hear you, Josh. You shut it. <laughs> Joshy, I love you. I know you're telling me shit because you've been utmost like you like I'm not here to judge you either like you have people that love you they love you at your utmost intimate like <laughs> <laughs> again that sounds like she's definitely been drinking a lot of nothing so <sighs> She's crazy sober too. Like <laughs> crazy amounts of soap. You have no, do you have any idea how much air was in that cup that she drank? No, 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 no. She's crazy when she's sober as well. <laughs> no, we, we don't we don't use the c word to talk about her. If remember, you fly I... an airplane fast enough with the rotation of the Earth, it could be always five o'clock. Yeah, that's that true. true. I mean, and airplanes true. are chock full of alcohol. You don't need it to be five o'clock, though. You just need it to be after five o'clock. And I'd argue it doesn't. The rule doesn't specify which five o'clock or even what day the last five o'clock occurred. As long as it's after a five o'clock, it's after five o'clock on nine eleven. Still, so right, you drink as much as you want. <laughs> There's been infinite five o'clocks since the beginning of time. So why it's always after five. And I wasn't talking shit. When's the last time Cobra has ever cared about what time it was? 
He's always late for everything. He has nothing to do. He's fine. Let this man drink himself into a fucking bathtub. There's not technically infinite five o'clock. Right, There's I only know. been like trillions yeah. of them, so... <laughs> you know. Can, you can only drink like 300 trillion times, all right? That's all you're allowed. Do we I'll... count five o'clock if we didn't t- like take time? Like We had to start taking time at a certain point. So I don't think we've even had a trillions of five o'clocks, right? Yeah, if you count, well, how long has the Earth that, existed, and how many times uh, approximately so, has the uh, Earth gone around the, or has the Earth uh, rotated? Even then, we didn't we didn't call it five so, o'clock until yeah, right. a certain point. So, so the Earth. So is about I mean, if we're gonna get this fucking technical, are we gonna say, yeah. oh, the English word five o'clock when that was created? <laughs> well, I mean, the Earth is like we could five break it down to that. Years old. No, but humans are only like two hundred thousand. I'm tired years of your old, chains. So. I'm breaking your chains Language of technicality. Two thousand years. <laughs> the concept of time was picked up at a certain point, and we can't say prior to that that it was five o'clock fuck, somewhere. Fuck you. It was five I can o'clock say it is. Prior to I that. can. I'll yeah. damn well say it if I please. I can say <laughs> it. You're not the boss of me. Sure, right, 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 we'll, we'll just we'll round it off. You can have a million drinks, one for every five. Thank o'clock, you. Reasonably. Thank yeah. you. And then worshiping this time religion where time just existed before somebody decided to invent it. I agree. If you, Nobody invented if you go, time. People invented ways to measure years, time, but time exists. The inventing a way to measure time isn't inventing it. it that that would be like, oh, there wasn't distance before we created ways to measure distance. But he, he oh, blah, blah, blah. Five o'clock. No more of this nonsense. Express. Let he me have my millions of drinks. Five o'clock group. didn't exist until it oh, was invented. I mean, and... technically, five o'clock didn't exist until the Earth existed because right. it's based on the right. amount of time it takes the I Earth to I conceded some ground there. That I was like, yeah. okay. I was like, how old's the Earth, and when did the Earth start spinning? Well, yeah, about about five billion years. Yeah, so. okay, I'll take that. You know, <laughs> Jessica's been bullied her entire life, so there you go. That probably doesn't help the situation. But Jessica told me that she's a. Uh, I just want to say, I'm glad that we did the math on this. Okay, we scienced it out. We've got. I don't want to do math set. anymore. That, that was all was... religion. Yeah. Now, this is how you break the bank here. This is how you <laughs> have supreme alcoholism. Uh, Magic is used to be a, a, a pilot, right? Of Air Force fighter pilot? Yeah, that, that obviously is something that I clearly have done in my life. I and, ne- and would never lie about that. When there's an enemy at your five o'clock, what does that mean? It means that it's time to crack one open, boys. <laughs> it means... In, in the peripheral around you, <laughs> five o'clock would be where the enemy is at in relation to where you're yeah, at. In the, right. So if you keep your alcohol at five o'clock to where you're sitting, <laughs> then it's fine. I would say That's it's also uh, I would say it's also location based because some places use a 20, uh, 24 hour clock, so there's only one five o'clock a day, and that's five. There's only one five o'clock in the military, right? Okay. They use a twenty four hour clock. Gonna quit drinking because you don't know her limit. Yeah, in, in the U.S. we call that military time, but in most of the world they just call that time. You know, I they call it Miller time. Oh, that's, that's why the military starts drinking at five a.m. <laughs> I respect that. You know, I want you to get a pack of, uh, like I said, a thirty pack of Bush Peach, but the. Uh, or out Other of season. Have different length days and might not even have a five o'clock. Then what all right, I'm putting a stop to this. <laughs> I do not want to talk about this shit anymore. It, it just like normally I would have just ignored it and kept playing the video. And this is what happens when I don't. So it's true. I watched Interstellar for the first time last night. Thank you, it's simple country. Five o'clock always. And so they're not making it till next next peach season. I guess it is what it is. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty sleepy, man. I want to go to bed because it's after 10 o'clock. Oh, no. What? He's about to punch his phone until it's broken. Oh, for fuck's sake. I get all these random numbers calling me on my damn phone, and, like, half the time I don't even fucking know who the number is. Or like well, if they're random, nine... I would hope that you don't know who they are. Like... His phone number's out there publicly, and he actually, one of the more recent videos of his that I watched, 
he was talking about how he thinks it's cool. He thinks it's cool that his number's out there publicly, and he believes he saved people's lives. People needed help, and his number was there, and they contacted him, and he helped them. So, I, I think he might have helped just by being an alcoholic on YouTube that people could look at and be like, I don't want my life to turn into that. He's one of Satan's greatest angels. He ate percent of the time. I just do not answer if I don't know the number. But I want to say I appreciate my fans. And I appreciate Jessica giving me a jangle earlier. She called me and, uh, and like I said, she apologized for the way she acted on camera the other night. She had me worried sick. And like she is self-deprecating to a point, but it was really bad on her pina colada stream. And I get I get it to a point when you're drinking alcohol, you start to feel good, so you want more of that feeling. So then you drink more, then, you know, if I didn't care, like I said, I wouldn't put up with this shit. I'd just be like, in her stream, she was like, well, you know, if you were there, you saw what happened. Well, I hope Josh finds a better girlfriend. I'm not worthy enough, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like... What the fuck is that shit? So I appreciate Jessica apologizing. and She asked me about the video I did about her earlier. And I'm, oh, shit. T-Bob is here. Said, Hello, gaze of Cobra Channel. Trash talking you. If anything, I was concerned. You gotta make a new she banner. want to see me for my birthday, <laughs> of course. Although I digress. I think there's gonna be a little bit less drinking on her end, at least. I mean, if she wants to try a glass of the mead that I made, she's more than welcome to, of course. Yeah, they've already set a date for her return. And by the way, when is it? Trump's her Bob is a fucking hypocrite. He came over here the one day and we were talking about Trump, his favorite person, and he got mad and left about that. He cannot be pleased. And by the way, he said, I won't take the butthole challenge because I'm gay and fucked up the butt and that I have a loose butthole. But that's only partially true. Yeah. Uh, I, I poop a lot and I have a loose butthole because I take big, huge poops throughout my entire life that have loosened my butthole. I am gay, but it's just, I like little penises in my butt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Ben recently had a slip and fall where he did the splits yeah. and a big man helped him up. And how do you thank a big man? You let him inside. It's not Ben's it fault man. that he accidentally fell on somebody's open penis with his ass. Okay. Yeah, he slipped, tripped, and fell Can't right on the gigantic <laughs> mountain of cash. It was, it was just a thing that happens, okay? You can never plan for that. Yeah, you're because actually kind of a bigot for pointing that out, T-Bob. <laughs> like, women are kind of throwing themselves at me now that I have Jessica. It's like, look, if you wanted me this badly, you could have made the effort before I started dating her. But they didn't see what a great lover you for, were until so they saw the way you it. took care of your your babe, Jessica. It is. They see how sweet I am being to her and that I care, and it makes them go, oh, why can't I find somebody like that? That's just it. Most women aren't going to give me a chance because they either think I'm creepy or my trolls are fucking assholes. But then when I actually have somebody, all of a sudden it's like, well, I should have given Josh a chance. So, anyway, you that's neither here nor there. Appreciate you all watching the night video. All right. Um, I have another one where he opens some fan mail that's pretty cool. Uh, here it is. Yeah, what up, social media, you fucking wanks. Nice. Now look what I got here, this uh, care package. Cause, you What's know, in the wank box? People send stuff to my oh, care pa to my P.O. box through the care packages. <laughs> and this has got to be a he big ass spelling the tea right now. <laughs> They included a note with it. Don't read the note. Just yeah, I thought he was going to read the note. Hello, Team Cobra JFS. 
this package is coming all the way from. Remember how to read? Like he just hey, forgot. Kettering, Ohio. You've got two cool. Kettering, Ohio. Huh? That are your biggest fans. <laughs> we love all your content you create for us. And just wanted to send this care package as a sign of our gratitude. Feel free to unbox off camera because we know how many trolls are out there. But after you go through it and find out it's only full of dope food, sodas, and beer, Hugs. please. Do dog food or dope food? <laughs> Food, sodas, and beer. He had a nice little bug disc error while he tried to remember how to pronounce the word food. <laughs> yeah. Do a fan mail or a dope. video so we can see how much joy all of it brings to you. Much love, fuck sickos, fuck the trolls, long live lazy motherfuckers. Thank you. Oh, you Check have no fucking idea. I'm really proud of him for not reading the name on the letter. <laughs> like, I thought he would have just did it. Yeah, I, Chris Chan has done that before. Chris Chan has, like, showed the address of the person. Chris Chan didn't read an entire note from someone that sent them something. And I, on the note, it asked them not to reveal who they got it from, and they did it anyway because they didn't read the whole note. Fine with Jessica. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, despite the trolls trying as hard as they can to fucking harass us the whole time. Oh, for Christ's sakes. This Viper edible gummy tongue. Oh, By the way, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but I think it was yesterday, uh, Tom Segura's Your Mom's House podcast. Uh, they did a, a an episode where they interviewed ICP, and they featured Cobra right at the beginning of the show, like the first segment of the show. So, Cobra's blowing up. I mean, he's so close to 100K. He's about 5,000 away from 100K. Uh, so hopefully the there's trolls a, don't flag his channel down before he gets to 100K. There's a guy who like does Civil War videos on YouTube, and he just started his video off with him watching King Cobra and uh, the, the, the sex doll and Sean talk. Oh my he's just God. randomly watching it, and then it guts into the, his actual video. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. I can't believe Jessica's dating a celebrity. Hey, you know, you know the type of women that that get the celebrity men. No, it's fucking unbelievable. These fucking assholes. Fruit turbo yeast up to eighteen percent, makes up to six point six gallons. Nice. Thank you for that. <laughs> He's definitely pouring all of that into one jar of mead, right? That's definitely happening. He needs that jar to be legit. More turbo yeast. 24-hour turbo yeast. Up to 14%. I'll agree Jessica is bad for Josh, but it makes excellent content for us. I don't even think she's bad for Josh. I just, I, I think he's probably actually learning a lot about patience. <laughs> Holy sh uh, T Bob is asking if this bald guy is Cobra's brother. I think he means me. And uh, yes, I, yes. Am, I am in fact brother. You know what though? I want to know how T Bob found out I'm being funded by the Canadians. Yeah, I'm I'm really but... freaked out by that because no one knew that, and T Bob exposed me. I was gonna play yeah. the video, but all of his videos get age restricted, and I don't want to get <laughs> age restricted. So. ABB. Ben's getting funded by George A. Soros. Yeah, he's Canadian. The same amount. Yeah, so we'll use that for my wine making recipes. My bro wouldn't make me a wine, so I had to get my own. Fuck. Squid fish, seafood snack. Hot and spicy squid. When I was at Seattle Comic Con, I saw a whole bunch of people that made custom wands. And it, it kind of freaked <laughs> me out a little bit. Uh, like on the show. Were they as floor, good as Cobras? They were good. <laughs> Damn. They were good. Do you think? And I asked them if they them used. Be... I asked them if they used a lathe. And they said that they were all hand carved. So. They should get a you, lathe. Yeah. Do you think they could have. You could have used any of them as dildos though. Because I, I hear Cobras ones are pretty good for that. Thank you kiss. There was one what? that kind of looked like it could be a letter opener because it was flat. It was like a flat wand. So everything is a dildo if you try. Jerky, mm. absolutely delicious. Man's got a whole snack pack. 
What else we got? A gummy ghost pepper made with real ghost peppers. Oh, F that. Yeah, okay, I could do that for a YouTube challenge. <laughs> a cricket bar, apple cinnamon. Dare to eat different. So what, they put crickets in here? That sounds crazy, dude. See, a lot of these <laughs> fucking snacks I can do reviews on for YouTube because it makes crazy content. Dr. Fact. King Cobra JFS stickers. Appreciate that. They sent the him dispenser. stickers? Uh, they sent him, like, his own branded stickers, but they made them, I guess? Is, is that, that the Boglum Pez Dispenser? It's a troll Pez Dispenser. It's That's a troll like a one. Oh, okay. Fuck the YouTube trolls, man. They are fucking assholes. Fuck the he trolls. I'm going gonna, gonna to pull candy out of their throats. That's how we got Jessica. Got some jerky here. What flavors we got? Kangaroo. Oh, uh, shit. What else is this? Is it alligator? Ostrich and camel. I want some peacock jerky. <laughs> oh, I wonder if they make that. I don't think they're endangered or anything, so they probably do. I know. Uh, yeah, they. Yeah, I, I don't know how much meat is on a peacock. Exotic you can get some jerky. good meat off a of peacock. I watched Sebastian Maniscalco's movie. I saw where it. his father, played by Robert De Niro, cooked peacocks for dinner. <laughs> huh. What else we got? Some canned fish. I Gator is decent. The, jerky. Uh, language on the front here, but I know it's canned fish because I recognize the pictures. Is it lutefisk? I Season hope it's that fucking what is it the 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 one that like destroys your entire fucking like house and car when you open it. Lutefisk is it or what is it? Uh, it's like oh, fuck it. It's, what do you mean it destroys it, it with, an, with a smell? Is that what you mean? Yeah, like okay. it, yeah, the smell. Yeah, it, it starts with an S. I can't fucking remember the name. Sockeye. Of it. Uh, I don't think that's sardine. It. Salmon. Huh? Sockeye is a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Stru Sir Strumming? Yeah, that's the one, I think. Oh, Strumming. Yeah. I'm weird Sir like that. I like canned fish. Cobra Sorry, would be exactly like the kind of stupid person who would open it in his apartment, and it would fucking splatter everywhere, and the smell would never go away. <laughs> that's so fucked up. I hope it's not that. That would be so fucked. Can It'd be yes, more fucked so if it didn't bother him. Like, I think you're supposed to open it like underwater so that it doesn't happen. <laughs> the oh, surf thrumming, the rotten herring that Swedes love. Yeah, that's it. Because that's isn't it Swedes that do lutefisk as well? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with the Swedes? Who hurt the Swedes? <laughs> the Dutch eat raw herring. Like, uh, oh, he he did smell it in his, his old apartment. Yeah. <laughs> that, that tracks. Just... <laughs> and Jessica happens to like sardines in a can too, but they gotta be skinless and boneless. <laughs> jokes on jokes on the apartment manager evicting him. He finally Young. got away. No! Oh fuck. No! I don't know who that is. A Japanese person? <laughs> I don't know who that I, is. He's like, he's like I don't know, Detective of, Ben. He's like the writer of uh, Dragon Ball, so... Oh, no! okay. Yeah. It's probably a textural thing, so I totally get it. Some spicy Is our boy noodles. Big Diesel in the chat? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a hard one for Diesel. That's a hard one for me. I fucking grew up with that shit. I've Some watched like, Dragon Ball Z like six times through. Oh, those are my favorite candies, and they're great to make mead with. A buzz ball, tequila, Rita. Hmm. I think I've had that one before. Some tuna in a can, spicy tuna. They're great for a snack or like, you know, use it for a food review, food hack, whatever. Here come the cans. Let's go. <laughs> Mystic Mama, West Coast style IPA. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. This is a nice little package. This is a, this is a real dickhead package. It's got all sorts of weird shit. 
it's, but it's all nice. Some of it's yeah. really fun. As long as it's not surf roaming. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all stuff that it seems like Copra would really like. So, I mean, they did put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. The cricket bar with apple cinnamon cricket bar. That's that. I would fucking probably eat that. I've eaten cricket bars before. They're not bad. Like, a lot of times you can't even tell what they're made out of because they're like I will coated not eat in chocolate. The bugs. They're like Never. coated in chocolate. You won't and shit. eat the bugs. I will not eat the bugs. Eat the bugs. He no, when, and when he's, he's not dead. Don't play like that, asshole. That's my Ozzy Osbourne. Akira. I believe Yama he is dead. Is I believe he is dead. Yeah, um, I think it is. Yeah, but when Magic says bugs, he also includes like shrimp and and lobster and stuff. So he's just they're he's, water bugs. N- they're not. There's no different. They're called crustaceans. They're a totally different species. Just there there are water bugs, else, and those are actual mean, bugs. They're not water bugs. The crabs are like water spiders. This is viper the hot sauce. Are like water scorpions and fucking like well, shrimp are just. That. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gross. No, don't never. Don't fucking. They're not the gross. That's to my hot sauce collection. You're, you're just picky. Uh, <laughs> it's your boy Cobra gets free hot sauce. <laughs> But yeah, like when it's a cricket bar, like it's all ground up, and then they a lot of times they'll like cover it in chocolate and stuff like that. The food reviews, just adding the stuff. Oh, I just recently ate like the worst fucking chocolate I've ever. I had saw you in my eat life. that, and I I like that kind of chocolate, so it was funny to like what watch was you. It? It, it's like it, pure it's, dark chocolate, like the the bitter kind. One hundred percent unsweetened, like yep. uh, cocoa. So it's so it's literally like baking cocoa, yep. but nothing else added to it it's fucking disgusting well i i kind of agree with that i'm not a big fan of it but big news flash news just in <laughs> t bob boats i just farted farting put a <laughs> smile on my face gays can't fart <laughs> that's true got bad um, news for you t bob <laughs> i've been to many a queer orgy and they just <laughs> slap ass i'm talking stink farts not bottom smacking okay I mean, Ben, you can confirm Billy fucking farts up a storm. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I mean, I think he means audi- <laughs> I think he means audibly fart. Because like you pass gas, you know. Um, but most of Billy's farts were silent, so I don't know. Some more canned fish. They had bass, even if you couldn't hear them. They well, had bass. Ham on this package. <laughs> can feel them in your heart. <laughs> Yeah, Ben would be able to feel them against the floor like it was a Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex walking up behind him. Billy farts in the little fucking glass of water just goes... Yep. <laughs> Turns into <laughs> chocolate milk. That's how they make you who actually. <laughs> Don't have to sink one to drink one. Korean ginseng. Oh, oh. Sorry, uh, energy boost. Yeah, yeah I like that really dark chocolate like that, but it, it has like s- sea salt fused into it. Like that kind of chocolate's good with like a saltiness to it. But I only eat white make, chocolate. Uh, Not a political statement. <laughs> a racist statement. Dude, fucking white chocolate macadamia. Not There's like that. Stuff that's just yet. awesome. I'll get to it. Yeah, I like those. I like those kind of uh, like that in cookies, like the white chocolate mm. mac- macadamia nut cookies. They are good. I like them. Remember when Subway used to have good food? They used to have these white chocolate macadamia nut cookies. Yes, Billy. I was there 3,000 years ago. <laughs> I'm telling you, before Jared from Subway had to muck up the entire situation, Subway used to be decent food. It was over franchising more than Jared. Like Jared was bad PR, but the over franchising is what lowered the quality of Subway. Class, so they had to box it up real tight. Buffalo wing soda pop from Lester's Fixins. I've had this kind. That sounds exactly like something Cobra would drink. <laughs> What's he- that? Lester's Fixins has a new savory soda. <laughs> Scott's into those like he's into the weird sodas. He he would probably try that. Does he uh, like savory bullshit? I thought he liked 
just exotic sodas. I don't know. He probably well, he is kind of picky too with certain things, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I think he just likes to find like the rare blends of soda that are out there. Like if Mountain Dew makes a guava cockering flavor, he'll go out and find it. Soda pop flavors are a little bit, uh, they're a little weird, but that's what makes it fun to drink, I suppose. Every bottle is individually wrapped in its own bubble wrap. I mean, there was a lot of stuff in this box. Like, it kind of makes sense. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is a true care package. Yeah, I don't think this was a troll. I think somebody actually, like, sent him legitimate, not, you know, like, fan mail for a change. I think it's a decent amount of fan stuff, I think. He just also gets a ton of troll sti- it stuff. It is. It is. He He's literally glowing, bud. You know? He does have more. It's the the troll to like legit fan ratio is shifting for him. Yeah. Yeah. For well, like, what do we send you in the PO box? I think a lot of them want to actually Whatever you think see I'm uh, Jason Puffereth Saunders become a thing. So. I do too, even yeah. though I know it's wrong. Yeah, I, like it should not happen, but I would I, I would be all over that. I would watch every fucking second of it. <laughs> I think he'd be a good dad too. I think he would try. You really don't need to do much more than try. Ghost pepper soda pop. That looks spicy. He's got the ghost pepper soda pop, the ghost pepper fucking uh, gummy. It's a little much. You should use the ghost pepper soda pop as a reduction in some. Well, the, the cops pasta. basically called the cops, and they he might eat. actually or, do that. Like... that. Jessica and my trolls are assholes. The trolls basically called the cops on me and Jessica every day she was here. Called the fucking EMTs. What do we think this flavor is? Let's see. Uh, All right, wait, we got a gonna dark pause bottle. And speculate. Yeah. Like, okay. okay. What's your? Come up with a guess. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna say it's a. Um, well, what's that Easter egg company that makes the Cadbury? It's a Cadbury cream soda. Ugh. Hmm. I feel like it would be a little bit grosser than that. Um. I'm going to say it's a teriyaki flavored soda. It's messed up. Yeah, well that sounds exactly like Ben, what do you got? What do you got? What's your what's your guess in this? Um <laughs> I want to think oh, you said teriyaki. That's that's interesting. Uh uh rutabaga. Chat says uh, cayenne dill pickle. Okay. Uh, chat says uh, Chadberry Queen soda. <laughs> chat says Cholula flavored whiskey. Chat says fart flavored root beer. Wow, oh, that's says vile. mustard flavor. See if anybody was close. All right, let's go. Dun, dun, dun. The ranch Almost open. Like ranch flavored. It would go oh. well with the buffalo wing flavor. <laughs> yeah, right. It's like it's the kind of weird that I feel like somebody would make something like that. Now this one is my favorite out of the, all the sodas. Lester's bacon flavored soda pop. Oh, ah, with that's maple good soda syrup. pop. I've had these kinds ah. before. We all missed that. that should have been a yeah. There's so many possibilities. It's hard to, to get it dead on, you know? Maybe in the same general area. Yeah. I think we all win the same tomorrow, thing, too. whether we were right or wrong. <laughs> yeah. Hold up one second. I figured there would be. 
Oh, yeah, it's not about winning. It's just, like, interesting to see, like, if someone could actually guess, you know? Yeah, but then we then we'd have to point them out as a prophet and burn them at the stake. Prob- or, True. Yeah. Or accuse them of cheating and watching the video ahead of time. I have yeah, not watched this ahead sickos. of time. <laughs> no. I don't this, have the fucking stream time. ahead of time. They would have watched this episode of Drunken Peasants ahead of Are time. Are they time <laughs> travelers? Cheaters. Yeah. Yeah. Cheaters. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, is this another soda? Oh wait, are we gonna guess this one? Nah, I thought it was fun for one. That was just kind of fucking annoying. It's got a red I'm cap. I'm gonna guess barbecue flavored. It's MAGA flavored. It says it's a cola. Oh, it's something cola? Is it cock cola? It's Trumpster Bob's refurbished cock cola. Hot. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if one of these bottles just exploded from him trying too hard at it. That would be pretty funny. It just shattered in his hand because he's a fucking madman. You just dropped it in the floor and it broke. I do kind of like Boglum Christmas though. Let's we said people send him more stuff. Another soda pop. Cock cola. I thought it. I thought it said cut cola at first. I was like, what? Wait. Is that like a chicken flavored soda or something? The yes, fuck? Magicus. Chicken it had a picture it's a pe- of like a rooster on it. It's a penis flavored soda. I I go around telling everybody I'm chicken flavored gay. <laughs> chicken flavored gay. <laughs> silly name for that. A silly name for that. I guess it's a regular cola. Okay. He actually got something normal for a change. It's named Cock Cola. Yeah. Look, everything else that he was sent so far has been some kind of wacky off the wall thing. So, like, I feel like it's a safe bet to assume that it's it had more cock insane. In the name. That was all yeah. it took. That's all it took. It said it had cock. All right, Daph, yeah, that's fine. I'm when's saying, the last time you put something uh, named cock in your mouth? I, I have not put a thing named cock in my mouth in quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> my guy. <laughs> it, it's been a minute. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Nacho Bates Habanero Blonde Ale. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the spicy beers. I've tried them before. Hard- how do we go from like regular cock cola soda to literally like nacho soda or nacho ale? Like you're telling me I'm crazy for assuming that and when we just get this following it. I didn't say you were crazy. <laughs> I just said you were looking a little too deep into it. It's just a beer uh, with a with a cock on the cover. A little 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 little, little rooster beer, you know? A little rooster so cola. Oh <laughs> look at that, we'll get into the uh, the the hard stuff. <laughs> a habanero OG Incel flavored. Lion says, stop making cinnamon and spice beers. Disgusting. Hmm. Beer. That just sounds interesting from a good old country boy. Huh? Well, all righty then. Hey, a prime drink. I like prime. Prime lemon lime. Yeah, we go. I'm already getting Blue ideas for drinking all this stuff. Yeah, I agree. I like Blue Moon. Ooh, is that a yerba chocolate mate? Chocolate milk stout. The chocolate oh. man- manifesto. Flying Chocolate monkeys. manifesto. Some of these on the That'd be a cool name. I'm Manny. Manifesto. Heard of. I was good to try new 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 products like that. Manuel Fisto. Space Age Sunshine Orange Creamsicle. Uh, another IPA, huh? Look at that. Magicus. You haven't been eating crazy garbage shit lately, huh? Not a lot. I'm trying have to you cut seen, most of it out. Have you seen the space Oreos they have? 
Uh, I haven't seen the space or oh, fuck. I, there was a new Coke though that I tried recently that was like really fucking awful. They're beautiful. The cream is like this blue and this pink on this can, it's like blue and pink fucking cream, and they pop in your mouth like pop rocks. They're just beautiful space Oreos. Oh, you know what? It was the Coca Cola Spice. That was like the last weird thing that I tried, and it was like was that, awful. Was that the Dune? Uh, release yeah, of yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, Spice. I did not like it at all. <laughs> By the way, everybody out there, please like the stream if you haven't already, and if you're not subscribed, please do so. We appreciate it. Like someone was doing LSD and they threw up on the can. <laughs> huh. Psychedelic man. Simple Country says there's a gay porn star named Just Manny Fisto. <laughs> That's right. IPA, I'm not sure what flavor this is, but there you go. It's from the same company as the last two. Beautiful artwork on those cans. G Fuel. Justin says the space Oreos taste exactly like regular ruler Oreos, but have pop rocks what in them. What flavor is this? Okay. The, that does drink. actually sound fun. Wampa like. fruit. Sounds Eat tasty. one of those Oreos and then drink a fucking a here. can of Diet Coke with it. <laughs> They're beautiful. Oh, yes, they really are beautiful <laughs> fucking Oreos. <laughs> I wanted to go to a rave and yeah, dunk my Oreos in man milk. Oh, wait, they did this with firework and cherry cola Oreos, too. So they're not, it's not even a new, new idea. They're just reusing old shit. That's the color, though. They're colorful. They're beautiful. Let's see what else he's got here. Or is he? Oh, I guess that's it. I really appreciate yeah. it, everyone. He gave he gave uh, naked yeah. and laughing a pair of those type of jeans that he's always wearing. Did he custom them for? Her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they look just like oh. his jeans with the weird stencil, the green stencil. Dude, he really is a cool fucking boyfriend. I'm glad to see him in his boyfriend saga. The uh. The other day, we were like, could you imagine Gordon Ramsay taste testing some of Cobra's food? And then someone sent me this video. Stirring the drink combination using the magic method. Oh. Oh. Really? Oh, fuck off. Oh. Come here. 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 What are you doing? Just what the fuck are you doing? Every table so far, nothing's coming out. You're standing there, you're screwing me, and you're fucking useless. What are you doing? Jump off my Asperger's yeah, already. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking up out of here. Get out! I'll stab you! Oh, you and you leave the jacket and get out! <laughs> fucking useless sack of shit. Fuck off! <laughs> Nobody talks good. about how abusive Gordon Ramsay was. Oh, yeah. It's weird because yeah. I've watched both the British and American versions, yeah. and it seems like he's way, way he's way more mean to Americans than he is to British people. Yeah. It's hyper over-dramatized for the American one. If you watch yeah. the UK version of his show, it's like, actually, I, I think it's way better, actually. So. Well, have yeah. you ever worked in an American kitchen? That's exactly how you're treated. Well, that's also true, yeah. So, yeah. So, bud, let's check out some other stuff. Here we go. Wow. I can turn off the Don't touch me. Don't touch me. TP, are they gonna touch me? TP, are they gonna touch me? So, uh, here's a video where uh, it's weird because Sturgis is really mad and he thinks that Riley is doing harm to mint salad. But I guess nice. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I I know well, for a fact Riley is doing harm to Miss Salad. I didn't mean the kind she likes. Hello everyone, I'm Reno Zero. We are <laughs> back again talking about something that is absolutely gross. That it would appear people have put out some sort of fake 
DM Sturgis, between... sex is not gross, okay? Most people tend to enjoy it. <laughs> the Sasuke sisters, even though it's a weird thing, they live together, so I don't know why they had to DM each other, but it would consent, appear common. Consent is a contract between a man, a woman, and Sturgis. You can't tell me differently. Conversation <laughs> quite possibly between Riley and Mint Salad. I'm sure we're going to get into all of that. But first, as you- what do you mean you're sure? You're, you're the one who decides what you get into. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm sure we're going to get into all that. You're going to be showing off the River store, we can- All right, I'm skipping this. But first, first we have to read off bullshit sales numbers. Yeah. Here's the. Oh, you know what? He makes a comment about uh, what people have said about the uh, lolly when it's not. Oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Of course, I'm going to be showing this wiggle wiggle gentleman who believes that Blade Devil is, of course lolly when it's not the proof in all this says it right here that this former knight is centuries old she's oh, been on a journey doesn't for- matter she's one horse cock away from being in a tax folder come on <laughs> centuries as well as the villain who has also been you know destroyed the most of the world centuries ago so if you to think she's that's centuries what this old is, bud i wonder she's not 12 she's centuries old really bud with a girl I got a feeling he might still be a virgin. He talked with sure. he talked with Brittany. He wanted her to serve him a ribeye. Uh, I mean, it, the way he talked about the waitress being sexy, bringing him food, definitely makes me think he's deprived of uh, human interaction on that level. Great to tell you, I but think he's deprived of human inter- interaction for most of his life. I wonder if he picks snacks out of his beard, like he's got a little. Stink saver in his beard, like a little nuggets oh, man. and stuff it, build up in there. That's that's what it's for. In those uh, oh. in those photos from the convention that he went to recently, he had some major dandruff going on, giant dandruff flakes like in his hair. Oh yuck! That's yeah. too bad. Ben, let's look at the uh, the knuckles on this bear and this gorilla. Are they drawn to have like weird mons pubises? Does these knuckles stand out on these 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 animals? The here? knuckles didn't stand out to me. The way the 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 bear's neck is drawn. Oh weird, yeah, it doesn't make sense to yeah. me. That's the first thing I was trying to. It's like they wanted to draw the gorilla's arm around the bear's neck, but they drew the neck way too long. That's that's my take on it. I guess that's, they used. I guess. Real. I guess they use Sturge's body double for the bear, though. Or, like, he's, like, the body, the, mm-hmm. like, reference. Your artwork compared right. to this is absolute trash. You could only dream of making artwork like this. This is just generic anime-looking shit. That's all it is. This could have been done with a fucking AI bot, like, yeah. I mean, nothing. this is somebody who took a lot of time to make a 12-year-old with giant tits. If you want to get in on Blade Devil 1... All right, I'm skipping this. Do, 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 do. All right. The way I say these weirdos are legit in need of help. Faking DMs now. Remember, this is all over a comic book. So this is the image here. It says hashtag Ripple Leaks. We'll go a little bit closer. You can see it here. She is a twin. It's funny because like the the Soska sisters have done like weird twin incest videos, which is strange. Uh, and if anyone that wasn't working for the Ripperverse did that, they'd be condemning the shit out of it. But because she works for them, they defended her act like it didn't happen. So Yeah, but ever since they signed on to the Ripperverse, they've been, you know, praising God and stuff. Yeah, so that's funny how that, that works. Weird, oh, all that weird yeah. snuff film incest, twisted sister, uh, icky stuff they did before, that doesn't matter. Oh. No, they just get to, the, the slate gets wiped clean. That's how that works. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the mafia. You, you, the mafia used to do that when they murdered people. They'd go to confession and and pray, like ask for forgiveness, and then they just do it honestly, the next day. The only reason I'm Catholic. One evil and one good. It says let's. That's not the only. Let's reason. make one of her twins like Wonder Woman. He likes the bread and the wine. I meant, I meant, he likes the bread and, and the, the wine. Other what? Like Cersei, the sister of Wonder Woman. Don't you think people would think that's too much of a ripoff and complain? Nah, lol. My customers don't read comics. They barely know how to read. We should make Yara do some questionable things to Alpha Core. That would be funny. She should do this questionable thing to my boy Solari, Brian Solari, the leader of Alpha Core. That's hot as she is. 
Are you busy, babe? Jasmine there. Note to self, don't leave non-expiring chat links on public forums. Now, this is supposed to be, like I said, an exchange between the Saskas and they live together. They believe, oh, that's, you know, they hired twins to make twins, have Yara have a twin, so on and so on. Where I explain the context behind it, saying, for further context, Mint Salad does water sport prawn and is planning on doing a video where Yara gets water sported on for money. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, that's not what it says, Sturgis. <laughs> oh, he won't read it. He means is- pissed on for those of you that are audio only. Yeah. He, 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 didn't, he didn't read the word pissed on. He wrote the word pissed on. <laughs> most no, likely. the word pissed on was definitely written on Twitter. He's allowed to but write the it, word. It's his post. He wrote it. So He just can't say it on YouTube. Yeah. A DM between her and Riley, if it's real, I can only assume Jasmine is the "quote unquote" other woman Riley was at was with at a bar where he lives. Is a video I showed where Riley was with another woman at a bar. Okay, sad to say. So what? This is how far we've come. Now, oh, uh, yeah. So you're fucking anyone you happen to be at a bar with? Is that how it works? Well, when you're Sturgis, when you're Sturgis, being at a bar with a woman is so much more action than he's used to getting himself <laughs> that he has to assume it's cheating. Okay. Yeah. Now we're over here being with shit within 50 feet of a woman is more action than he's used to have. Is that so like he basically banged that waitress that served him a ribeye? Yeah, he yeah, definitely I eye banged her. Was that an Applebee's? Because yeah, probably. <laughs> Uh, he, he even said what it was. Some grape soda minus the G soda. <laughs> I can't remember. It was some steakhouse chain, and he said what it was. And those, where you know, you remember when he leaked his own DMs? Doing a god shot. Hey, out. babe, I wish you bought me a Morton Steakhouse ribeye, babe. Uh, I super- choose to believe it was Applebee's on Milf Night, super which is every night, by the way. See Riley, <laughs> yeah, do harm to his autistic girlfriend several times, several times, as in three times, considering it's fifty dollars. Her slap, WTF? New- what, is he slapping her butt, or is he slapping? Well, I mean, if she asks him Either to slap way, her face, if she's, if, yeah. she's, if she's game, she's game. Yeah. Two CG is an embarrassment. Remember, they are in the CG back rooms, and Matt Barr is not. Matt Barr is a great artist, by the way. We'll watch this video on mute because they do have music that is possibly copyrighted. Let's jump right into oh, it. Interesting. I can't wait to see this video. So you can see this person donated one hundred and fifty dollars. Wait, what is she doing? Just standing there. Right Run away from him. He's an abuser. Don't just stand there posing to the camera. That was not. <laughs> that, was, that was like a. That was like not even like a pro wrestling slap. No. Yeah, that was a that was a sweet boy slap. Yeah, that was Riley. Like, like that. I I don't want to call it out though, Ben. We shouldn't call it out because next time Riley will just punch her. <laughs> it's just it's just funny how these people exaggerate everything. I I remember when I hung out with Riley and Mint, we were at an arcade, and he took a picture of himself with a clearly fake gun from one of those like shoot like rail shooter games and they flipped their shit being like he's got a gun he's gonna come for eric next he's here to motor eric bud yeah it's like when they what was it was it Vito was at the fucking protest they like took the sign and broke it and then gave him the wood he's got a weapon back. He's, like, he's, he's got a weapon yeah to be fair free speech is a weapon to those people <laughs> now i'm gonna put the yeah. volume up so you can actually hear the slap yeah, I want to hear right. these. Awesome. It was hardly anything. Yeah, so you hear him slap See, her there. He actually I want to said- fucking feel the vibrations of that shit through this fucking like Twitter video. Yeah, me and Magic is know how to hit women. Yeah, yeah. She can could have slapped her harder. <laughs> could have hit you harder. Move on to the clip here. She stands him. You can see that her face is like, oh, I don't want to be slapped. No, it's not. <laughs> Her face is like, hey, I'm posing to be slapped. Right. What are you talking about, you moron? <laughs> Gonna turn off the music. My bad. I don't expect Sturgis to properly Boom. read Slaps women's social cues. So that's the second slap. Uh huh. That was completely missed. So, yes, this is what new CG is now. You can see them here in, in Ethan's warehouse. This is an old <laughs> photo, by the way. Tagging Andy Worski. These people are Vito's friends and are in comics game now. Now, I'm not going to show you what disgusting nonsense is down here. But we're going to move on. Then why are we going to know what I came Tony, here say- for? I want to know the disgusting nonsense. 
being meant taking it like a champ because apparently he is for harm to a woman that's exactly what he's saying right here i am 100 percent toward harm to a woman if the woman is into getting slapped in the face have fun if she's having fun she's having fun might be a joke. If she's but... not, then we take care of that differently. We don't clutch pearls because some girl's getting slapped in the face for donos. That's not what we do as human beings, women or men. If there was a video of Eric July doing it, he'd be defending it or acting like it didn't happen. 100%. Well, that's because Eric July is like his Jesus, right? He can do yeah. no wrong. Eric July is like his celebrity crush. <laughs> yeah, babe. Uh, if I had a girlfriend, Eric July would be my hall pass, babe. Exactly. <laughs> Seems like you're all about it. Seems like you're all about someone being paid oh. to slap or harm someone. Good job. Good look for you, Tony. I mean, Good look yeah, for you. fucking make that bread, boy. <laughs> we also have Jay Bomb, a fan. Oh, yeah. lordy, lordy. Honestly, I am a little pissed off at Riley because those slaps were whizzik. Fuck a woman. Now, hey, give, dummies, at least give it. the a... fucking audience their money's worth out of if it. If her ear's oh. not ringing, I'm not <laughs> paying. <laughs> I understand it might be a joke, but it seems like you're all about it. it. seems like you're all about someone being paid oh. to slap or harm someone. Good job. Good look for you, Tony. Good look. Yes, for if so, you. As, as, as someone who has dabbled in professional wrestling, meant after five o'clock. <laughs> hey, bomb oh, fan. Shit. Boy, lordy, lordy, he struck a woman. Hey, dummy, he pulled it. It's, it's a bit. Five finger Andrew to the Bikey face says, o'clock guess, somewhere. But it would take more than. I'm only gonna have like slap. a million tries to go and save her, though, if it has to be after five o'clock. So. <laughs> My wife on YouTube is disrespectful to our family, and I'd have three adult sons and a few of their work buddies who would come over and have words with me, <laughs> but that's just our family. Are you performing, Joe? And then we got our Bruce here shout out. Wait, now, quote, performance, unquote, matters? We'll be expecting a long apology to the Saskas now since you cried and whined over acting they did in horror movies. Nope, but it doesn't really matter. It feels scummy, more so knowing she has a mental deficit. Yeah, she's supposed to be autistic, and you got this psychopath slapping her around they like to claim it's it's a, a mental deficit I, I, okay that's such a weird way to put it publicity it's it's fake he definitely didn't mean deficiency by any chance no that is... she has a mental deficit guys again she's autistic just... she's not a. what's that other word that starts with r retarde she's not retarde me and my family he continues Mr. Toxicity calling out this weirdo. Now we're calling out your fake high and mighty morality. I almost said something, but it was a word that ends with R. BS. You're a non-comic oh. book fan. <laughs> fake morality. Did I do something that immoral? To say I'm to Ben's me, ben? dyslexia. Fuck you, Ben. Yep. You piece of shit. You were going to call me I was me like, ginger? oh, I starts with R? You asshole. <laughs> I was like, starts with R. How dare R. you? <laughs> Confused. what I do? A rip a tar calling me a non-comic fan because you are. Okay, comics gate, they win. I'm going to have to retire. The gig is up. Hang it the up. The gig is up? The gig is up. I believe it's the <laughs> jig is up. Jay, it's all over. And then you the unironically... The gig is up. It's actually pronounced Jif, Ben. Yeah, the peanut butter. The is I love up. that peanut butter. The Jif is up. Technically, use yeah, a gif. Is, oh. is it the chunky Jif or the fucking creamy Jif? I, I, prefer con I prefer crunchy peanut butter. And I usually get like the really? lower, yep. And I, I usually get the lower sugar peanut butter. This too. character, interesting. I've, I've always been creamy Jeff guy, so yeah. I I remember getting crunchy as a kid, and uh, I think it's just what Costco sold, and it was like in a big giant bucket, so we get the big bucket. But then then my dad stopped buying it because he lost his teeth. <laughs> Here from he was like Sons of that. which is funny because I quote tweet it and say. Do you even know what happens to this character right after this scene? You probably don't. Newsflash. He deletes. He dies. You must not know that. That's what's Wait, so ironic about why did he about. say he deletes and then immediately just say he dies like it says on the screen? <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> about this. You say the I gig think is... The, I, I, I think it's more of a self-delete thing. <laughs> I think he was trying to say self-delete. He was trying to point out that it was um young sewer size. No, it's... It, 
it's just weird how like Sturge just tries to self censor, but then even he like from time to time is like, no, that's still that's dumb. Like just fucking read it. Yeah. Is up. Yeah. <laughs> this character dies. Good job, buddy. Showing the whole world how stupid you really are. Showing this Whoa. right here. Struggies is being extra stupid in this video. As in, more stupid than yeah. normal. Now I'm convinced mm. he's mad that another man is getting laid. <clears throat> this is incel rage. I mean, Cobra yeah. Cobra got laid more recently than he has, like, objectively. Yeah, we assume. Uh, yeah, I think we could all say with at least... 99.9% certainty. Yes. Yeah, it's my under it's my understanding that that girl because, you know, his buddy Poop Donkey came around and spilled all the beans on him that the the girl Brittany, he he was hooking up with her, but they live in different states and they don't see each other that often. So, there you go. So they did hook up? According to Poop Donkey. I yeah, I never I never know what to believe out of these yeah. boys. Who's here? Yep. He takes his hands off the handle since his crew basically was destroyed and crashes into a semi. Yeah. Unironically, you're dumb. You truly believe that that was the smart move. <laughs> Unironically, you're dumb? Move to put up a gif of a character that dies. So <laughs> it's interesting how that works. That this is what... He, that's there's still, the Windows notification. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> CG has become. It's funny because someone drew a, a picture of him. And they made his eyes uneven like this, like they actually are. And Sturgis <laughs> reviewed it and said how dumb it was that the eyes weren't even. But his eyes are uneven. Yeah, but if he has a stupid pea brain, he's not going to be able to fathom his inconsistency. I think he knows that. Personal in, ugliness. I think that's why he shoots himself from this angle here. This is the best possible angle for, for him. That's Rather than promoting- sad because this is not even that good of an no. angle. No, no. <laughs> comics as they like to claim like tony like riley they claim that they promote cg books they don't really promote anything outside of their immediate circle i promote books that aren't put out there as much i've pushed relentlessly bullied hero i've pushed black Rhapsody. Oh, i thought you were I've pointing pushed... at the ripperverse store as you say this yeah blade devil i've pushed death 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 these are books that people don't really talk about that I have backed all of them. But in their circle, they only back dog shit looking books like Blood and the Sword and the Fabulous Frogman, you know, the gay frogman that Tony's working on. Shocker. Likes to claim he's a writer and he's going to take a seat at the big boy table with CG. <sighs> you ain't taking a big boy table seat with anyone. You ain't taking a big just boy using table you, seat. And you're a grifter. Just like Katie. He's lucky if grifter. he gets a fucking kid's table seat. Who the fuck cares what Sturgis has to say about anything? Drifters, sorry to tell you, but you are. Thank you all for checking no out way, this bud. video. He's mutual with really Eric's guy, bud. He's a happy boy, bud. Like, Kendall has a fucking greater seat at the table than Sturgis does. And How that is pathetic. Me. <laughs> uh, I do have a, a, a very short Trumpster Bob clip. He's talking about Dolph Lundgren here. Check this out. I mean, I hope Did y'all know here. that Dolph Longer was a chemist? Yeah. Dolph Longer, for a long <laughs> time, he, he flipped back and forth what he made more money doing, being a chemist or an actor. You know this is going to take a turn, right? You know it's going to take right. a turn. Well, so far, I think this is actually true, though, isn't it? I'm pretty sure he had, like, a fucking he is, PhD. Or he's something. a very bright guy, but... Obviously, this all goes the same route with Trumpster Bob, right? Well, uh, yeah, of course. Is yeah. Dolph Lundgren a secret Muslim? No, he's he's something else. Guy's a fucking genius, and he's that fucking big. He's like six six or whatever, and he fucking built real good in his time. And on top of that, he's a genius. But somewhere along the line, I think he got butt fucked because. <laughs> He got stupid. Something went wrong with him physically, and now he's just a weakly old motherfucker. And he's young, too, to be that fucked up. He's not that young. I think he's, like, in his 60s by now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there you go. He got butt fucked, so and it made him dumb. He's not passing the Trumpster Pop butthole challenge anytime soon. I always no. hate when I have the dumb fucked, or the smart fucked out of me. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's what happens. That's All right. Cool. So now we're going to check out some DP action news. Here we go. He called me, sir. It got me so humiliated. People are discriminating against wolves. Wow. They're laughing at us, at our stupidity. New York deploys the National Guard to help combat subway crime. So I guess the subway crime in New York is so out of hand that they need the National Guard. Today, Army New York National Governor Guard. Kathy Hochul announced new efforts to fight rising crime in New York City's subway system, which is up 13 percent. And that's just since last year. So Hochul is Those Doge deploying a thousand state personnel from the MTA, state police, even the National Guard to help the city. Andrew Siff with NBC News New York spoke with commuters about the safety improvements. Lately, I don't feel that safe. Trisha Alexander said her commute Why is Ellen not safe? Felt great lately, but seeing police back on the platform helps. What does that do for your state of mind? It makes me feel safe. Now I feel like I got to look around my back all the time. The return of 1,000 uniformed officers to the subway began in February and seems to be working. As we've reported, subway crime spiked 45% in January when the city ended its police overtime program <laughs> in the subway. The renewed Damn. NYPD surge led to a drop in February, but subway crime still up 13% this year. When I'm on the subway system and I speak with riders, they say, Eric, Nothing makes us feel safer than seeing that officer at the token booth, walking through the system, walking through the trains. Mayor Adams said not only will the manpower continue, but bag checks will be back at major transit hubs within the week. There's many ways that the state can even ramp up more support for uh, protection of citizens and communities. Yeah, like I've been to New York and rode the subway, but it was a long time ago, like back in 2017. So I, I, I mean, I've I've done it a few times. Like I've never had an issue with it, but it. You know I, what's sus to me though? It's like they're trying to like cut down on overtime hours for the police, and then all of a sudden, magically, crime just spikes by 45 percent. Like, are we sure that the police are just not letting that happen on purpose so they can say, oh, well, you better give us back our fucking overtime money? I don't know. Well, now they're they're hiring scabs, a.k.a. the National Guard, which is federally funded. So I guess it kind of helps in a way. There's on the know. subway. Some riders say the renewed law enforcement focus should deter criminals, many of whom are repeat offenders. It gives a person something to think about if they're even considering to do something they're not supposed to be doing. Yet to be calculated, who pays the estimated $15 million per month in police overtime? Also, amid reports of more guns in the system and more slashings, the mayor wants to fast track technology for metal detection. They are doing an excellent job in identifying razors, knives, uh, scissors, other sharp objects. Uh, to me, that's a low bar. I want to what, be. What are they able playing to... Blues Clues? Dude, like, uh, a lot of people travel with fucking metal objects on them. Like, it's going to go off for, like, almost every person who gets on that fucking hey, subway. You think I'm riding the subway without my razor, knife, and or crowbar? Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, like. The whole fucking point is to be able to do crime on a budget, right? Like, damn. Well, I'm not there to do crime. I'm there to defend myself from the buskers. <laughs> Identify a gun. Every stop, there's a new busker that comes on and <laughs> sticks a smelly hat in your face until you give them 10 bucks. Last time I took the subway, there was 17 stops. It cost me $170. Our thanks to Andrew Siff with NBC New York. Uh, here is so Did like, that say anything about the National Guard? It, it it says here New York deploys the National Guard. That that was the title. Huh. Um so Mitch McConnell, he's about to he's gonna he's gonna leave his his uh he's not gonna run for reelection during the next election, but he's still gonna be around for a while. Um no. but he had he had shit on Trump so much saying Trump was responsible for January 6th and all that stuff. But it turns out Mitch McConnell's about to endorse Trump. 
Kentucky Everybody Senator Mitch McConnell is. is giving his support to Donald. Gotta kiss the ring. Trump's bid. Nikki to Haley the White stepped House. down. The minority leader endorsed Mr. Trump in a short statement after the results from Super Tuesday. McConnell said, "Quote." It should come as no. He's leaving his post as Senate Minority Leader, but he still has years left in his term. Uh, they, yeah, they call him Minority Leader, but I see a few white people following him back. No Surprise that as nominee, well, he will have my support. During the Trump administration, McConnell passed a massive tax cut bill and confirmed three justices to the U.S. Supreme Court. But the two men have not spoken since 2020, when McConnell Turtle. declared Joe Biden Turtle. the winner of the presidential yeah. election. And McConnell was blaming uh, Mr. Trump for the attack by his supporters on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. I, I'm not sure that McConnell's brain is going to survive until the end of his term because he's already had a few times where he's like literally just shut down in the middle of a sentence. When Those he's are, trying to that's talk like to everyone at the top level of our government. Right. Like, it's it, fucking scary. Like he's like, not. Kamala Harris is the youngest one and she's almost 60. He's not yeah. performing at a level where he should be leading our Senate. Maybe having sex with Naked and Laughing. I wouldn't trust him to fucking lead a bake sale right now, let alone our hold up, fucking Hold government. up, hold up, hold up. I wouldn't mind if he was in charge of guarding the bake sale. <laughs> no, I said running the bake sale, not just be guarding it. So Yeah, no, I'll be getting free cookies, Magic. <laughs> yeah, I know. But, 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 fuck, give me... Um, I'd be stealing cookies, Magicus. Um, I went to the Emerald City Comic Con and I saw Christopher Lloyd do a panel with Christina Ricci and he's not very sharp these days. He kept forgetting what he was talking about, like halfway through a sentence. And Christina, so is was, he like 80? He's 85. Christina was yeah. almost like his caretaker. Uh, like but she, she kept, was married to Owen Benjamin. You so always bring that up. <laughs> she can handle it. Look, yeah, I'm... I, it, we we should not be like letting people that over fucking over the age of like seventy run our government. Like it's just not fucking. But is he good. allowed to be at Emerald City Comic Con though? I mean, he, you can I, go he, to Comic Con. It was kind whatever. of. I don't. I I filmed a lot of it. It's inter Like someone asked him a question about Andy Kaufman, and he starts telling the story about Andy Kaufman, and then halfway through it, he's like, "Uh, what's his name? What's his name again? <laughs> like he forgot Andy Kaufman's name. He he That's forgot." A like, people asked him what his favorite villain characters he played was. He had trouble remembering Roger Rabbit. And then he was trying to remember Dennis the Menace. And he was like, what was that movie I was in with Macaulay Culkin? It wasn't Macaulay Culkin and Dennis the Menace. It was some other kid. Some other blonde <laughs> kid. Like They he told was, him it was Macaulay, though, to get him to sign on. I don't Didn't know. did they have Macaulay attached to it earlier? Like, early on? I have no idea. But he filmed the whole movie with some kid that wasn't Macaulay Culkin. Uh, he, he was having trouble. Like, he he kept like forgetting the questions halfway through. Uh, and I think he's hard of hearing because she Christina Ricci had to keep repeating the questions to him and everything. It was pretty. He might have just he might have just had low blood sugar or something. I'm pretty sure he's still Doc Brown. If you've seen the video, here's uh, judge rules in favor of 22 year old San Mateo Safeway employee fired for stopping shoplifter. So this employee oh. stopped a shoplifter and got fired for it, but then I guess the judge is uh, ruling Videos in his favor. Brazen Let's see. shoplifters just ransacking stores. You may be asking, why doesn't someone try to stop them? Well, one get Bay Area grocery store worker did yeah. just that, and guess what? Got fired for it. But now a judge has ruled she did nothing wrong. John Ramos has her story. Safeway fired a 22-year employee for violating their shoplifting policy. But an Dude, administrative the people at Safeway get pissed lately because there's a ton of shoplifting in this area all the yeah. time. And the people at Safeway are, like, really getting vigilant recently. I go to the grocery outlet, and I'm seeing people get kicked out daily for stealing fucking Snapples and shit. It's nuts. Here's the thing, like... You shouldn't be fucking putting yourself in danger for fucking corporate profits. Like, it is not worth you getting hurt over this shit. It, it's so. not, but these people are sitting here working all day long, and they can't afford this shit, and they see homeless people leaving with carts full of, like, toilet paper and dog food, and they're like, fuck this, I can't even afford to wipe my ass or buy my dog food. Some of and them they get pissed. Some of them aren't homeless, too. They just know they can get away with it. Yeah. A judge has ruled that she was only doing her job.
Antoinette Baez worked at this Safeway store in San Mateo, and her attorney, Neil Eisenberg, said she knew the company's policy about not touching or pursuing people trying to shoplift. She had that drilled into her. She knew that you don't do that. And she also Who would said, hire this guy? Thou shalt not steal. She won. On February 2nd of last year, Antoinette noticed a woman with about $500 in groceries at the self-checkout machine. Yep. She offered to help her, but was refused. Later, after clocking out, Antoinette noticed that the woman was trying to leave without paying and tried to stop her by holding on to the bags she was carrying. Another worker came to help, and after the woman took a swing at Antoinette, she finally left the store. After reviewing the incident, her store manager said Antoinette acted appropriately. Three weeks later, there was an anonymous phone call complaining about her. It went to the Safeway Board of Directors, and in their infinite wisdom, they fired her because she touched the bag. After her termination, Safeway refused to I wouldn't fire anyone who touches my bag. pay unemployment benefits, oh. claiming she was fired for misconduct. So after 22 years of service... Is this in Seattle? That's in Seattle. Yeah, it's like the aquarium right there. But this is... Yeah. Huh. The Unless this is somewhere... Maybe, maybe it's not in Seattle. But that's like Bainbridge... Or that's the like uh, West Seattle, right? It looks exactly sure like it. Sure fucking looks like Seattle yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is in the Bay Area, so there could be a place that looks just like it. But it looks, it looks, uh, yeah. She also Mother could have been visiting Seattle. Yeah. She's been fighting a multi-billion dollar corporation to collect $450 a week in benefits. Well, I've been in practice for 54 years, and this is the cruelest case I've ever seen involving an employee. The case ended up before the Unemployment Insurance Appeals Board, and in her ruling, Administrative Law Judge K.A. Duncan wrote, the claimant was aware of the employer's customer service shoplifting policy. She was not aware she could be terminated for performing her duties while on or off the clock and without a warning. They said, they said she didn't know she could be... Wow, this attorney is not in good shape. He seems like he's not in the best of shape. Fired. I know, that's what I was saying. I, I would not hire this guy, but yeah. he seemed to fucking win. We're over here talking about Christopher Lloyd and uh, Mitch McConnell, and I'm like, this guy does not seem like okay. he's uh, functional, but he won. Pipe smoking lemur says, oh, no, Safeway fired me. No minimum wage anymore. What will I do? You know 20, 22 year uh, worker in the uh, the union. I'm sure she was getting more than minimum wage. And also, like, she still it, her bills don't go away when she gets fired either way. Right. I, I kind of understand the argument that he's making now. It's like she was actually punched out at the time. So she's not like acting as an employee of the store at that point. So why is she still being treated like an employee after she's clocked out? For doing her job. Safeway did not appeal. So the decision is now final and the company will have to pay Antoinette's loss unemployment benefits. But the case has some people wondering if policies like Safeways are sending a message that encourages thievery. They want to protect the safety of the companies for sure, and I understand that as well. But it it comes at a cost to all of us because we're all going to then pay the higher prices for all of the the merchandise that gets shoplifted, and that eventually comes down to all of us. Yeah, and if you're stealing five hundred dollars worth of groceries once a week, you actually make more money than the person that Safeway has fired. Basically, the moral of the story is it's, it makes way more sense to steal from Safeway than to work for Safeway. Damn! Eisenberg says he will be filing a termination lawsuit. Antoinette last worked on March 6th of last year. She is still trying to find another job. Hey, it's a one-year anniversary. Out to Safeway, the company did not return our request for a comment today. But no, like seriously though, don't fucking put yourself in danger for some fucking stupid like three dollar gallon of milk or whatever. It's just it's not worth it. Or do what you want to do. Life is fucking boring, anyways. <laughs> like if you're gonna get in a fight with somebody, it should be over like something more important than like some politics. Fucking... Right? Yeah. Like fight for something you believe in, not for like some fucking store's property that they're already insured on. What about so... fight over anime? What about my right to party? Of course you should fight for that. Okay. When is the last time you had to fight for your right to party, Ben? 
constantly. I always have to fight for my right to party. You always win. <laughs> always. <laughs> so apparently they're finally trying to recriminalize hard drugs in in uh Oregon. Yep. Cuz all all drugs were decriminalized a couple years ago there. Well, they had a popular vote for it that like caused them to decriminalize it in the first place, right? And now the legislature I think is trying to undo that. Have they yeah. have they actually undone it now? I thought I heard that it was undone. Let's see. First I think Fox it is. Tonight, this Oregon Senate has made a major decision on a controversial voter approved measure. They passed House Bill 4002, which will roll back a key component of Measure 110, making possessing a small amount of drugs illegal in Oregon once again. Which drugs, though? Now, the bill is headed to the governor's desk tonight. It passed 21 to 8 in a show of bipartisan support. Lawmakers in both parties say this is the best option. Wow, dude, they're they're like Capitol building looks like the Hall of Justice or and something like that. The state's yeah. growing drug and addiction crises. That's Superman. House Bill 4002 will recriminalize possessing a small amount of drugs, reversing a key component of Measure 110. It also creates an unclassified misdemeanor for those found in possession of hard drugs such as meth, that heroin, and That guy that was bent fentanyl. over with his butt out and his pants around like below his butt. I saw a guy standing outside of the grocery store for like a half an hour bent over like that the other night. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave. I was just waiting for him to not be bent over like that. I've he was he did not look comfortable, but he was just fucking gigging. I see that all the over. time in Seattle and, and Portland. They're, they're like super high. They're like so high. They're like nodding out while they're standing up. It happens all the time. They should make a law where if someone's that high, you're able to just like put them in a box okay. just kill them just you mean no, throw, you mean them. throw them in jail <laughs> just maybe maybe there's just like put a, them a in a box, box or i feel something. like you didn't even know what you were gonna say and that's what <laughs> came out the bill just will also give a, law enforcement the authority hey, to decide yo, me off for the last time i'm gonna put you in a box whether to send someone <laughs> no, they'll wake up the next day they'll be like what did i do i'm in a box and they'll get out of the box and maybe they'll think not to get high flexion program which connects the drug user to treatment or to send them to jail for up to six months lawmakers had this to say today about the passage i think it was really important that we set aside politics is this Lex Luthor? Partisanship, and that we focused on crafting what? a policy that addressed many of those things that we heard Oregonians say. And I think that this policy does that. And I think that's why you heard on the floor of the Senate today that um, sometimes that's unusual in this building. But this is such an important uh, problem an important uh, crisis that we are facing, uh, that it was really important to set aside those partisanship. Some people have complained that this is too complicated to do in a short session. I would say normally true, uh, but it's also an emergency, which is another reason that short sessions exist, because when three or four Oregonians a day are dying because of addiction, People are still going to die from it. Like, right. throwing people in jail for possessing it is not going to stop them. As soon as they get out, they're just going to do it again. If they you need to follow this, you have to invest in rehabilitation programs. Like, this is not... Just making it, like, more illegal and giving them more jail time is not going to fix the fucking problem. You need to follow the fentanyl money trails, the fentanyl... Uh, pathways to bring it into our country we need to do a whole lot of shit to break down all the other ways this shit's even getting to people i think it's incumbent upon the legislature to try to act and stem the tide of that happening aclu oregon executive director sandy chung says this bill is a major step back in terms of treating addiction she and other proponents uh, of measure yeah, 110 say it is. yes new bill hicks says activate big brother where have you been the last 20 years dude i'm pissed that we have big brother and it's not doing anything for us drugs is not the solution we had chosen as a state to move forward into the arc, arc of history into more justice and more care and now oregon lawmakers are very knowingly and intentionally moving backwards 
away from both justice. You know, I say it Oregon as three syllables, Oregon, but I've noticed a lot of people from Oregon do it with two syllables, Oregon, Oregon. She just did it. It's it's interesting. Can we hear her say it again? Yes. Come on, Sandy Chung. I remember uh, I'm when I met the first person I I ever knew from from Oregon, and she said it that way. And I'm like, so you mean like a like a like a pipe organ? We had chosen as a state to move forward into the arc, arc of history, into more justice and more care. And now, Oregon lawmakers are very knowing. Oregon lawmakers. Oregon lawmakers. And intentionally moving backwards away from both justice, but also from. In my opinion, if you're from there, however you say it, that's the right way. So I say it wrong. It's just interesting. It's like Louisville. Mm. Louisville. Well, not, not that's such a says dumb Oregon. way to say Louisville, but whatever. People do say Oregon who are from Oregon. Like they're, 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 not everybody says Oregonians Oregon. Deserve. Chung says that she understands that polls show a majority of Oregonians wanted some sort of reform to Measure 110, but she blames special interests for influencing voters' outlook on the measure. What we got what sort of flowers are those on the the Oregon? They look nice. Those... I can't tell what they are though. I'm not a, uh -uh. an expert on flowers at all, but they look cool. For all you weirdos out in the audience right now who know flowers, tell me what those flowers are. Put, it, put it in the comments if you're watching the replay of this. Tell us what flower that is. Yeah, and if you don't know, make it up. Where I grew up, I know. Where I grew up, we called it Oregon, and it and, and we have a, a town spelled the same way as the state, just outside of Toledo, and it's called Oregon, Ohio. It's pronounced Oregon, Oregon Ohio. Yeah, and now I feel yeah. Washington's flower is the uh, rhododendron. Yep. Kavis says that's Ninroot. Ooh. Colorado Republicans claim Secretary of State failed to stand up for election integrity. So the Republicans in Colorado were mad at the people that were trying to take Trump off the ballot. And that's what this is mm. all about. Mm. Several leaders of the Colorado Republican Party, along with Lauren Boebert, are now taking aim at Colorado's Democratic Secretary of State, Jenna Griswold. The party chair, vice chair, and secretary sent a lead to Griswold yesterday, saying she did not stand up for election integrity when they say she attempted to remove Donald Trump from the ballot. It's worth noting that was a group of voters, including Republicans, who sued to get Trump off the ballot in the Supreme Court. Yeah, so it wasn't even the Secretary of State. It was, it was a group Damn. of... <laughs> court ruled against them. The court's letter went on to say they are building a grassroots coalition to... So Lauren Boebert's trying to save her campaign. She moved to a different district yeah. where she thought she had a better chance of winning, and she doesn't. Lauren Boebert, she should go back to being a call girl or whatever. Didn't she just win her last election by, like, the absolute skin of her teeth? Yeah, well, that... I don't know if it was her teeth, but <laughs> there was close. some skin. Skin of her booba. Hold like, you it was extremely close, uh, if I recall. ...for your attack on our election. All right, there's, uh... Oh, California's fast food law exempts Panera Bread because of Governor Newsom's relationship with... Somebody, they got cut off. Let's see what this is all about. Well, tonight, Republican state leaders are calling for an investigation of Governor Gavin Newsom. This over allegations he advocated for changes to a major law to benefit a billionaire friend and donor. I the see. state legislature ultimately approved. Now, I, I will say, Panera's, and it's kind of nebulous. It's, it's, it is fast food. It's kind of like almost not fast food. What did they call it? There's a it, it name is, for it. It is fast food, but it's 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 a higher class. You know, it's more of Look, a. It's got my, its own my, bakery. In my opinion, if you have a fucking drive-through in your establishment, you're fast food. I'm sorry. There's yeah, a, which is why which is why I appreciate Chipotle calling it a Chipotle Lane. So it <laughs> makes it not fast food. Um, okay. The, the, I, I've heard that this uh, claim from the govern governor or whatever did this is not actually true even. Like there, there was a, a report on this, and then Panera is not exempt. Of those changes, KCRA 3's Ty Steele joins us now with more on what this means. Ty? 
Yeah. This all centers on California's law requiring major fast food chains to pay workers a minimum wage of 20 bucks an hour this April and a big exemption that was made. Lawmakers passed the FAST Act back in 2022. It set the new wages and established a council to bargain for working conditions on behalf of the state's half a million fast food workers. But baked into the legislation was a unique exemption, chains that bake and sell their own bread. And that includes the fast food chain Panera Bread. And tonight, sources tell KCRA 3 that the governor pushed for that exemption after negotiations with Greg Flynn, who owns 24 Panera Bread restaurants here in California. According to Bloomberg 25. News, Flynn has been a major Newsom donor, giving $100,000 to Newsom. God, campaign. I wonder if this news channel hates Gavin Newsom. <laughs> against the 2021 They're really building the case against recall, him. And nearly $65,000 to his 2022 re-election campaign. So when Newsom finally signed that agreement into law in 2023 at a news conference in Los Angeles, KCI Ray 3's Ashley Zavala asked why the exemption was there in the first place. There's a provision in this bill that exempts bakeries, essentially. Oh, there's a Wendy's employee. This is like the we are the world of fast food. There's a Wendy's employee. Mm -hmm. There's a McDonald's employee. Actually, places that makes me so proud. Yeah. Sell and bake bread on site. So carving out essentially Panera and Boudin. I wonder, I mean, what, why did in the agreement, did you all decide that those workers should not be within the umbrella of this. I mean, that's part of the sausage making that was part and of 257. And you got Grimace up there in the corner doing a adult sign language. I wanted, I wanted to hear what he said here, though, because like you were saying, you heard it wasn't true. So. I mean, that's part of the yeah. sausage making that was part of 257, the original bill, and we went back and forth, and there was part of the negotiation. It's the nature of negotiation. So it seems like it is true. There's a lot of. Where did you hear it from? Uh, there's um. It got brought up on Joe Rogan this week, and oh. they went to fact check it, and it was fact checked that it was wrong. Um, it says on February 28th, Bloomberg reported that bakery chain Panera will be exempt from California's AB 1228, a law that raises the minimum wage for fast food workers from $16 to $20 starting April 1st. But now it looks like that may not be the case. On February 29th, the spokesperson for Gavin Newsom told the Los Angeles Times that Panera would not be exempt from the law. The spokesperson also denied a claim of the Bloomberg piece, which cited sources close to the matter that Newsom pushed for an exemption that applies to business that bake bread, sell it as a standalone item, item uh, calling that report absurd. Uh, Bloomberg insinuated that Panera's inclusion on this exemption would allegedly benefit billionaire Greg Flynn, who controls over two dozen Panera restaurants across California and is a longtime donor to the Newsom campaign. And uh, it's uh, Newsom referred to carving out bakery exemptions into the laws being part of the sausage making of politics. Yeah, that's what he's Do said some, here. Yeah. So, yeah, he's not denying it here, so I don't know. Parts in, in the, the Los Angeles Times, a spokesperson for Newsom said that Flynn was never involved in conversations around the bill, and their legal team has reviewed, and it appears Panera is not exempt from the law. It's not just Jack in the Box, not just McDonald's. There are a lot of different players. This affects a lot of different franchisees and different models as it relates to that um, and in different conditions and environments. And so that was <laughs> so all part of the I, I think the, the law, the law it may, gives exemption to people who make the bread on site mm -hmm. and they don't actually make their dough on site. They ship it in the same with Subway. Mm -hmm. Subway ships it in so Subway wouldn't be exempt. But if a bakery makes its dough on site, um, they don't have to pay their uh, workers a fair wage. It's the same thing with like Dunkin' Donuts. They like don't make the donuts on site. They like have one bakery location that then ships it out to like a bunch of different franchise places usually. Mm. So, and that was the collective wisdom of the legislature, and ultimately led to my signature. Well, tonight, the governor's office responded to the report in a statement saying, quote, this legislation was the result of countless hours of negotiations with dozens of stakeholders over two years. Staff in the governor's office met with dozens of business owners as well as union representatives, as is expected when policies of this consequence are moving through the legislature. Meantime, State Assembly Republican Minority Leader James Gallagher has called for an investigation. Posting online, can any franchisee get an exemption from the $20 minimum wage law, or do they need to donate more than $150,000 to Newsom first? As for Greg Flynn, the billionaire franchisee, he told KCR 3 as far back as 2022 that if the bill passed, he wasn't sure if his company would survive. He has not responded to the latest reports. Damn. Back to you, Golson. Right. I, I have a secret to tell you. 
It's going to survive. He's going to raise the prices. It'll be fine. Here's the story about Lauren Boebert's son getting arrested. Ooh. Clock at new legal drama surrounding the family of Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Her 18-year-old son now faces at least 20 criminal charges after allegedly breaking into cars and stealing credit cards. Curio 13's Annabelle Childers joins us live in our newsroom to explain how Representative Boebert is responding. And up. Today, Tyler Bobert appeared for a virtual court hearing in Garfield County. He was dressed in the black and white stripes of a jail uniform, but he didn't seem stressed. Instead, he was smiling and laughing alongside other inmates. And during the hearing, prosecutors noted that Congresswoman Lauren Bobert appeared to be watching online. Tuesday afternoon, the Rifle Police Department arrested Tyler Bobert. The 18-year-old is the son of U.S. Congresswoman Lauren Bobert. While she's currently serving as a representative for Congressional District 3 in Colorado, Bobert is running for a House seat in Congressional District 4 this November. Police say they arrested Tyler in connection to a string of vehicle trespass and property thefts in Rifle, Colorado. In court today, prosecutors said Tyler is accused of breaking into multiple cars and stealing credit cards. In a statement, Representative Bobert wrote, I love my son Tyler, who has been through some very difficult public challenges for a young man and the subject of attention that he didn't ask for. It breaks my heart to see Damn. my child struggling and in this situation, especially when he has been provided multiple opportunities. Yeah, he had to go through all of those videos of his mom jerking off the guy in the theater. Mm, yeah. to get his life on track. I guarantee you, if my mom had videos jerking someone off in a theater, I'd be breaking into cars, too. So now, wait, is, is this the son of a U.S. representative, or is this a character from the fucking cast of Trailer Park Boys? I don't understand. It, it, I feel like it could be either. <laughs> uh, a son of our president of the United States is a crackhead. <laughs> like, none of, none of this matters. Like, you, your kids can be fucked up, and parents can usually fuck their kids up by putting on these stupid political faces and being beacons of morality uh, to the public and less than moral with their, their own fucking family. The Bobert family was in the spotlight surrounding allegations against the representative's ex-husband. Jason Bobert was also arrested. He's now facing charges for two separate incidents. A How come he gets a beard and his son doesn't? Restaurant and an alleged domestic violence. Some people are late bloomers with facial hair. Like, he, like he's only 18, so he can't really grow one yet. It's true for Ellen's some people. incident between Jason mm. and his son. A judge set Tyler's bond at $1,250. He's set to appear back in court April 11th. Reporting live in our newsroom, Annabelle Childers, KRDO 13. I don't trust a name like Annabelle Childers. Yeah. Sounds like the name of some creepy doll. Uh, <laughs> The dad supposedly looks like mid nineties Kevin Nash. <laughs> Shout out to Lauren Bober for pulling a hottie like mid nineties <laughs> Kevin Nash. You see this right Stick. here. Uh here's a this is King Cobra in her chat. I'm yutching I'm, myself to Jessica looking good in them shorts. When I think about you, I mm. yutch myself. Whoa. You know, I almost kind of think that he did not mean to write yutching. I think he's. I think he meant to do that. He definitely meant to do that. Hmm. See, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but like, I feel like that's supposed to be a different word. <laughs> I don't know, Magicus. I gotta tell you, um, <laughs> I can't help but think why when I think of someone touching themselves to Jessica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could think of I could think of a few reasons. Can why understand that, why the why showed up. Why? <laughs> why? Why are you yutching yourself? Well, well, probably something that rhymes with a six year dry spell. <laughs> so you're getting ten percent off right now? <laughs> Damn. And anytime, anytime I shop there and I'm wearing the if I don't wear the shirt, I don't get it though. What's the last thing you bought there? The shirt? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually. That would have been funny. 
Like, I wonder if I if I wanted to buy another shirt, would I get it 10% off? Is it anything in the store? I don't know. Maybe. You should have put the shirt on before you bought it and demanded 10% off. <laughs> I'm wearing this shirt. Give me 10% off of it. Yeah. And they're like, no, we won't. Be like, well, then you're going to have to take it off of me. <laughs> I'm only willing to pay 90% for this shirt. Well, you know what? Then you only get 90% of the shirt. They're just going to cut the other 10% off of it. I, I know this prostitute that gives you 10% off if you still have her herpes flared up when you go visit her. <laughs> Not a bad deal. <laughs> Simple Country b- makes up a good point. What if you wear 10 shirts? No, they, shit, it doesn't hack, compound. You hack the Gibson, dude. You hack the Gibson. It doesn't Buy compound ticket, like that. I'm walking in there with 10 shirts and be like, bitch, just grabbing everything and walking out. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Let's see here. Did someone say Gojira? Oh. All right. We, we have Godzilla King Kong sequel. Oh, yeah. Coming to theaters. I've now Godzilla and King Kong are teaming up, but they're not just teaming up. King Kong has a fucking power glove, dude. Was he? Is he like a fucking old school Nintendo gamer? He's got the power. He's got. He's got like a a power glove to punch other Mega Godzillas. Let's do. Let's see. Magicus. How about this for an idea? We get a candle. We sell candles that smell like cat piss, but they're like, they they say like maybe they're banana flavored on them and we can sell them to people that give to their enemies. (laughs) They'll they'll go light. They'll go like this person will get a candle. They'll say banana pudding and they go light the candle and it reeks of cat piss. No, no, no. no. They're not. They don't smell like cat piss, Billy. They're, they're they're musky. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, do we have to? We should play the clip of fucking Rev talking about wiping Shanny's ass. That was fucking fantastic. Oh no! No, I'll so probably good. save that for another time. <laughs> um. So, uh, let's see here. Breaking news involving Donald Trump, the former chief financial officer of the Trump Organization, just pleaded guilty to two counts of perjury. He is admitting that he lied during sworn testimony during the civil fraud trial against Mr. Trump. But despite this admission, he is refusing to testify against his former boss. Eyewitness News reporter Lindsay Tuckman live outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan with the very latest. Lindsay. David, perjury tears at the very fabric of our justice system. That's what prosecutors said this morning as Alan Weisselberg pleaded guilty to two felony counts of perjury. The 76-year-old former CFO of the Trump family real estate company arrived this morning to this Manhattan courtroom wearing a mask and also wearing handcuffs. He admitted to misleading investigators about his knowledge of the size of the former president's Fifth Avenue penthouse apartment during sworn testimony back in May and October of last year. This all during Trump's civil fraud trial, which ended with that judge imposing a more than $450 million penalty on the ex-president for inflating his net worth to obtain more favorable loans. Weisselberg had previously served three months of a five-month sentence at Rikers Island for tax evasion, and now it seems he will be back in jail soon. The prosecutor is recommending a five-month sentence, acknowledging that he does turn 77 in August. As for today, Weisselberg was released on his own recognizance. He does have a sentencing hearing scheduled for April 10th, which could coincide with uh, Donald Trump being back here in lower Manhattan for his criminal trial, that of which Weisselberg is not involved in. And we did also just receive a statement from his lawyers just now. It was short and sweet. And what they said today is Alan Weisselberg looks forward to putting this situation behind him. Yeah, so... Well, good job, a, Alan Weisselberg. A, a lot of people that worked for Trump ended up getting in trouble. Yeah. yeah no one should want to work testify. for Trump at this point. He won't testify against Trump. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know I don't know what the appeal is, because apparently, like, Trump doesn't pay the fucking people that, like, work for him, so, like... Well, it's uh, because you're all committing even... crimes, so you get paid off of the crime. 
I Until guess, you get but... caught, and then and then you get in trouble, and Trump gets away without anything. So, yeah, I don't know if he's gonna get away with it. Like, I feel more and more like he's gonna actually like go down for something. Do you think? Because I feel like he's gonna be president. He's gonna be president. Yeah, for he like probably twenty is. years. I don't know about twenty years. Yeah. I don't think he'll live another twenty years. But he he'll he'll probably win the next election, unless something. He's changes. gonna be the first AI I, president too. I don't know. They're gonna I elect like... an AI Trump to run the country. I think. He might win the presidency, but he also might win it from jail, like which would be both fucking terrifying, but also hilarious. Now, does White House, does the White House need to be upgraded to be a prison? Isn't it already very well guarded anyways? Yeah. Couldn't he just effectively be in a prison that is the White House? I mean, we thought the Capitol building was well guarded, too. I mean, who knows? There have been people that, you know, have found their way into the White House before well, the, the the capitol building is guarded like a museum was the white house is guarded by armed security all so the, the time capitol the president, building. not like the president is well the president, the president is guarded is by the secret service wherever he happens yeah to be. so Wait, would I, he would he even need to go to jail because he's constantly guarded by people do, do the secret service not protect like the senators and representatives too no, I don't think they have their own. No, detail. they they only they only protect the president, people running for president, former presidents, okay, so the, and they, like and so the people. Have... Hold on, and people in line to be president. So like the Speaker of the House and like those kind of people. Okay, well, so, okay, so some of those people would be in that building though. So there would be Secret Service there. It's they'd like be the there, speaker... but they'd be protecting only those specific people. Okay. So yeah, then they would just have like Capitol Police for like the rest of the building. So the presumably. secret, the Secret Service was there at the Capitol building. Yeah, uh, they made sure Mike Pence and Pelosi got out of there, and that's what it, that's how they got out. So right, okay, I, I knew like at least some of them should have had a detail, at, but I wasn't sure if anyone else besides like those few would. So. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I think we're gonna wrap this one up. Um, anyone who's interested in competing in actual mania this month, join the discord and, uh, there's an actual mania room open to the public. Go in there and, and let me know. Cause I'm going to start booking actual mania later this month and I will see everyone back at the next episode. Have a good night. Good to have you on magic. Yes. Yeah.